Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan and I've got the fabulous Sally with me today. I'm so excited. I love having Sally on. Look what she's made. Just one of the most amazing makes she's had for us today. Really excited. I love having Sally in. It's amazing. You learn so much and she's so much fun. So welcome being our nice early birds this morning. Let me show you this fabulous early bird special we've got for you today. In, this is, oh, the early birds. So some of you may not have, um, been with us before early, nice and early, eight o'clock in the morning. Um, what an early bird is, is we like to give you a little bit of a, a reward for coming and joining us nice and early. So an early bird is a, a product that we usually sell, but we try and give it to you a little bit cheaper, just to give you a nice little thank you very much for, and for coming and joining us nice and early in the morning. And uh, you then sort of half today, you're halfway paid your um, postage and packaging for the day, because um, you only really saved two pounds on this item today. These are 36 skeins, they're um, seven pounds ninety. They're normally $9.99, but I have to show you these incredible, incredible skeins. There are 36 different um, threads in here, and I love the fact that they're variegated. And I'm just now, oh, I just was, you can tell I got, opened the bag earlier and got a bit carried away and then started moving them all around. And you can tell it's always hard to put them back together when you started playing with these there. But just look at how beautiful and vibrant these threads are. I absolutely adore these. Look at that orange. And I love the fact you've got another orange here, but they're slightly different. So they're all, you've got so many different unique um, threads here. Oh, look at that gorgeous pink. And the great thing with these is a lot of people are doing um, quilting at the moment and they're doing hand quilting. This is a great way to be able to do French knots on your quilts as well. They're just so beautiful. Doing tie quilting, it just, it's a nice, easy way to finish off all those wonderful quilts you've made. Um, and it's a nice, easy way to be able to do it. Because I do think if you can hand finish your quilts, it does make life so, it, you've got such a different relationship with your pro project, even bags. If you do have that tying in there, um, you do get that feeling of being in touch with your project a lot more than you do when you put it through a machine. These are working out at 22 pence per skein. And I love the fact that they're variegated because if you are doing a French knot, um, the, the French knot next to it will be totally and utterly different in the color because you've just moved that little bit down the skein and you're on a little bit of, um, because you're moving along and you can tell as you go through these how the color vari variegates all the way through. You can see here, I've got a nice light purple. And there. But even if you've just got a, fa a favorite fabric and you just want to embellish on top of it, you can just see these are so pretty. I just adore the, and the colors are so rich on here. They're brilliant. Loving these. Oh, and the, that's not even all of the colors. You can see I've got this beautiful red here going into a lovely brown. Now remember, we got our one day PNP of three ninety five. So if you did get this wonderful sa um, saving today on our early bird, you've then paid your postage and packaging throughout the day, and it doesn't matter how many times you purchase throughout the rest of the day. You've paid your postage and packaging. It doesn't matter how many times you can do it. And what's great is if you see something that you really like, you then go and you buy it immediately, press the order, and then you can sit down and watch, for example, the wonderful demos coming up by Sally later on. You'll be able to just sit back and watch the demo and you know you've got the piece. I'm looking at this one here and I have to say, and these two here, I'm just gonna do this very quickly, but look at these wonderful, how well they go with these gorgeous motors. We've got the motor fabric over here. This is what Sally's used in her project. But just look how beautifully these go together. Just look at how beautifully those go together. And if you just slide them down as well, you can see all the different colors there. And that's the joy about the variegation. You can see how gorgeously that goes all the way down. But equally, sometimes a little bit of a pop of orange in there would be quite fun. You see how just by, if I take that away, do you see this little flower over there? The minute I pop that on, you can see that that little flower there, just, oh, that one there, just starts popping that extra little bit. So it's, I know most people look at these um, threads and they're not quite sure how to use them and what to do with them. But you can see just by putting that hint of orange into the fabric there, it just livens it up. And at 22p a skein, that's just such a great saving on buying these individually as well. So the quilt behind me that I was showing you a few moments ago, that we've got, at, we've got now at 8 a.m. with Sally, and we've got her as well at 10 o'clock. 
very excited about that with Creative Grids. So these are the most fantastic little spool. Make sure you get your hands on those because they're so good. And they're, br sorry. Oh, and don't forget 11 o'clock. I'm gonna get into trouble for this and I don't care. We have got the most fabulous, fabulous fabrics coming up at 11. We've got a whole combination of this gorgeous fleece, anti-pill. Anti and what I'm loving with these fleeces, making any form of dressing gowns or pajamas or things like that could be really fun. And they're just so snuggly and making sort of snuggle blankets out of them. And because they've got that wonderful anti-pill on them as well, you're not gonna have the usual reaction with less, with other, um, these products you may get. The other good thing with these is you can do them as backings, which make your quilts even more snuggly. I love that. But those are the only way that I end up doing using fleece. Please, can you drop us a message today to let us know how you use your fleece? Because Sally gave us a couple of ideas as well. We'd love to see how you use them. So drop us a line. Easiest way of doing that would be studio at sewingstreet.com. Failing that, you've got the um, Sewing Street TV page on the Facebook channel on Facebook and you can do, type in Sewing Street TV. There's a little message button on there so you can send that through, um, a message through there and that we follow throughout the show. And if you've got any questions throughout the show about any products or you wanna see something or we've got a bit quickly over something, drop us a line and we can get back in touch with you. We can let you know about that. But speaking about our 11 o'clock, I don't know about you, but I adore owls. Look at them. Aren't they amazing? And what's so great, because all these fabrics are already on the website, if you just go into and type in www.sewingstreet.com um, and you go through, you'll see a little YouTube page with me on, and you just go beneath that, that's all the products on today's show. And if you just scroll, I think it's on about page two or three, you'll be able to see what's coming up at 11. They are amazing. Really looking forward to that. Now getting back to our eight o'clock hour, we have got the most fabulous bundles for you today. So this quilt that we've got behind behind us over here, amazing, really, really lovely quilt this. And this is a eight and a half meter bundle, which is more than enough for you to make this kit. Really, really wonderful amount of fabric here. So let me start at the bottom with the ones that you're getting the most of. That is what our bundle looks like. Isn't that just gorgeous? So let me start at the bottom. The reason being is you're getting a meter and a half of the cream. Meter and a half of the cream. Then we're getting a meter and a half of this. Now the detail on this. This, this entire range was designed by a lady called Jo Morton for Moda. And Jo has got a wonderful aesthetic um, of being able to, sh to take country quilts, uh, country style quilts, and she's it's based, every single range she does is normally based on a quilt from the 19th century. And what she'll do is she'll take that quilt and she'll take the inspiration from that quilt and then design a line that refers back to that quilt. And what she does is she tries to keep with these beautiful browns and beiges and, and oranges and these rich umbers, these gorgeous deep colors. And she designs all of the range through there. And she's got this very traditional style of doing it, which ties back into the these wonderful quilts from the um, 19th century to be able to tie those all in together. And she's done brilliantly now. But she's also taken those colors and you'll see on the detailing on this is just incredible. Here, we might be able to see this better on here. They've got like a little tiny, it's, I think it's a bumblebee or it's a funny shaped little butterfly. But this is a really fantastic way of showing the way she takes that inspiration from a very old quilt, makes it more contemporary. Look how fun these are and that wonderful little background fabric as well. The detailing on every single one of these stitches. But if we look at the one just beneath it as well, you'll see the detailing on here where you've got this little cross stitch effect um, and the blanket stitch effect here. It's just so thoughtfully done. It's a really, really wonderful design. So those, those two wonderful fabrics you're getting a meter and a half of, and you're getting a meter and a half of your cream. You're also getting a meter of these two fabrics just beautiful. So that is the same as this fabric here, just in a totally different colorway. But doesn't it just pop and look so different in this different colorway? But you'll see that you've got all the same little bumblebees, or are we gonna call them bumblebees, or are they butterflies? Or are they flowers? They might be little flowers. What do you think they are? They're so pretty though. And I'm just looking there. Doesn't that look like a little face looking at you going, hello? 
Love that. And then you've got this wonderful, just beautifully designed berry collection here. So lovely. And what I love about this is because it's such a bold colour, it works so beautifully on these des this design. You can see that we've just used it in the cornerstones, but you could, you've got so much here, you can use that to make a little kimono as well. It's brilliantly designed, this. And mode of quality, you just cannot get better. They are so brilliant. Staying with that fabric design, but in a totally different colourway, look at that one. It's just so lovely, that. And then this is just, I think this one, I'm going to show you this one first because it shows the design so beautifully there. And then we've got the same design just in a different colorway here. Look at those. I'm just noticing my shirt is matching the fabric again today. <laughs> And then last but most certainly not least is this beautiful colorway here. Isn't that just stunning? But it's such a beautiful quilt and I think the cut the design on here is it just goes to show the level of detail that Jo Morton goes into when she does her designs. You can see the detailing on there with just those just a hint of dotage. I'm going to call them dotage. It's probably not but it just you can see how much design she puts just with those few little dots around each flower. Very, very clever. So th that is eight and a half meters of fabric there. And we've paired that with this with the pattern that goes with this. And the pattern is incredible. And that is going to make this quilt over here. And the great thing is, is the pattern tells you exactly how to do this. You've got all the templates you need to do, everything you need to make it. And we've got the lovely Sally to show you how to do that in a few minutes. But in case you just love the fabric and the designs, you wanted to just look at them and get them by the half meter, we've got you as well. Oh, is this a mega bundle? No, this is a mega bundle. This is a mega bundle. Oh my goodness. And they are by the half meters as well. But this half, getting the mega bundle means you're going to get half a meter for free. And people are already checking out on this. I haven't even shown them all to you and you're already checking out. So I think what we'll do is we'll pop these here and you can then have a little look and see each one there. They are so pretty. And make sure you check on the web. And if there's anything you do want to see and that I can open up for you, let me know and we'll have a little look there. So that's the first colorway there in our collection. And remember, these are all on the website. So if you do want to look at them on the website, pop on there, you'll be able to see that. If you just type in Lancaster and do a search in the top, the Lancaster will come up and bring you all the motor fabrics on there. They're re and they'll be quite near the top of the page as well, because that's our eight o'clock hour. Oh, just see what I mean about those dots in this different colorway there. It works so beautifully. Loving these. Now you know how each of these fabrics you can infer what you like on them. I think those are little giraffe heads. Do you see what I mean? They look like little baby giraffe heads. I love that. I think I'm going to get a couple of meters of that just because they look like giraffe heads. No, so the bundle I'm showing you now is not the same as the bundle I showed you for the quilt. Uh, you're only getting six or so, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you're getting eight of the fabrics uh, not all of the mega bundle you're looking at at the moment are in the bundle for the quilt. We've just chosen the colours we thought worked best for the pattern. That is really lovely there, isn't it? That was the big pop of colour that we had, the dark colourway in that bundle that we've got for the kit. <clears throat> but look at these. But you can see these designs are so beautiful. Now this one I know wasn't in the mega bundle, uh, the bundle for the kit there. It's just such a beautiful collection. This one was in your mega bundle collection, uh, your bundle for the kit that was in there. But look at that. You can just imagine, it's, it's just such a beautiful collection there. You can imagine the guild, the Quilters Guild, making something so beautiful out of all these collections here. Oh, look at that. That is really pretty. 
And you see this is by the half meter as well. So make sure you check out the website and being able to see exactly what it is we've got by the half meter. And if the very last one now is our wonderful border fabric there, which we're coming back to. So those are the gorgeous, gorgeous bundle there. It's just so lovely. And of course, motor quality, they just feel so incredible. It's wonderful. So there we go. That's what we've got up for you today. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a reminder now of how best to shop with us while I get Sally on. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. She's here. The Hi. lovely Sally. It's so nice, nice to have to see you back. You How are you keeping? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. Yeah, you? Very well, yes. Busy, good. but that's good. Yes, it's always mischief. good. Yes, <laughs> it is. Brilliant. So this quilt, it's amazing. And you know what I love? It's not a quilt yet, but you've still bound it. Yes. Which I love because they do get moved around and you know what it's like. You, they do. They start to fray. You've been so thoughtful on it. And it shows you what you can do then with fabric. Yeah. But it's such a lovely design, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a very simple one, but I think it's very striking and very effective. And because of the bundle of fabrics that you've got, you can mix and match a little bit. It's so we'll talk about that. I think that's yeah. fabulous. Could you make, did you have a lot of fabric left over? Because I had quite, like quite a few quite a bits left over. There. Yeah, um, just roughly. Oh, wow. Quite, so quite a few little bits. Gosh, that's wonderful. Because I'm looking at it and thinking, ooh, could you make it a bit wider? You could make it wider. Um, you may not have enough of the border fabric, so you'd probably need a little bit extra of that. But um, you'd only need the little, the size of the extra block. Yes. Should be able to. Yes, you'd probably be okay. Well, they're very clever quilters in this world. They'll they'll make it work. Might make the border slightly thinner then. To well, make it fit. or you'd have enough fabric to do cornerstones in a different fabric, Ooh, so yes. that would extend that it a little bit as well. as well. Yeah, so pretty. And although you probably can't see it on on the screen, it's one, two, three, four, five blocks deep. It's very long. It's the longest quilt we've had on, because <laughs> <laughs> this works out at fifty inches by seventy six. It is. Yeah. Sorry, I had to double check. Yes, I did then. too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more used to doing square ones. So, so am I. That's yeah. how I was thinking. If you did one extra, could you do one extra on it? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So, and yeah. it goes so well with most homes, doesn't it? I think it does. The, the, the bundle itself, or the bundles, are very well coordinated. Mm. As you said, the designs are beautifully coordinated. Um, and so the, the hard work's done for you, in a sense. When you buy a kit like this, you've got it all, all the hard work done for you. The colours, the shades the designs none of them are too big uh, so yeah really it's, subtle and very nice and the fact the scale is the same on yes, everything it's very it cleverly is. done especially for the little kimonos you know because if you just had one big flower in the middle it might look a little bit Ooh. odd <laughs> oh i quite like that oh, idea <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is is you've got this pattern then so if you do have fabrics and you want to play with it you've got the pattern you can left indeed over at the end. you can indeed and i did think that you could decorate the kimonos too if you wanted to. With our wonderful threads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, we, um, but imagine doing those in the threads, doing some detailing on them. Well, I thought you could do something like a little, just with a scrap there, like a little sash. Oh my goodness. Do you know what I mean? Like kimonos often have a little sash. So just, in fact, I could, I could just trim that little bit and show you. I'm getting ahead of ourselves here, but I did think it might be nice to 
to do something like Sally, that. Sally, I just need to point out that is your own ruler, isn't it? It is my ruler. Do you know yes, that that's my which is favourite it's got, ruler? That <laughs> it's got bits all stuck. No, but we stock that one as well, and it's the one I reach for every single time as well. So I've just cut a couple of little strips there just to show you. You could bond a web these on to make a little sash. Oh, that's very clever. Or a little little V neck or something. Oh, that's and beads and buttons and all of that. Brilliant. And maybe Do it once you've the... quilted your quilt, though. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want your beads and buttons. No, under the foot that. of the machine, no. no. <laughs> and you could use some of those threads to yeah, decorate it as well. It was just so many colours in here. And I was just when I was looking through them and I saw these, I thought, goodness me, they match perfectly. I'll tell you what I use those for. Mm. Tassels. <gasps> Making tassels. That's they make a the good most idea. Beautiful tassels. I hadn't thought of so that. I love variegated threads of any of any kind. Oh, I love variegation. Um, and they make brilliant little tassels. That's a really good idea. Because I started doing my, I think it was my fourth quilt, I hand tied them because a lady had gone to a group and she said, don't quilt them, hand tie them. Mm -hmm. And then I, try, I picked up the variegated thread because it was the only one they had in the <laughs> shop. And it was beautiful. Yeah, it really yeah. was. It works really well. Love that. Yeah. So show me where we're going. So, First okay. of all, tell us a bit about you. Some people may not have had the pleasure of seeing you before. <laughs> I've been kicking around quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully. Uh, yeah, so I'm a quilter. Um, technically, I'm a, a technical author, writer. Mm -hmm. um, so from that, I got into magazine editing. I've edited a couple of magazines, sub-edited uh, some more. And I still write for magazines and design and make for magazines. Fabulous. But uh, I've been sewing on the TV for now, probably going on for three years. Wonderful. Month, so, yeah. Well, we love having you. Yes. And I love quilting. It's my hobby as well as Your job. now partly my job. And um, I just love fabric. I have a huge collection of fabric, as you might imagine. Huge collection of rulers, which we'll talk about some more <laughs> about those. And quite a large collection of sewing machines. I have around about 20 sewing machines. 39. So, 39. I have 39 sewing machines, so <laughs> if anybody ever asks, I've always got more. You've always <laughs> got more, yes. Because I love the old ones. Yes, so do really, I, yes. Really a lot ones. of mine are the old amazing. ones. Amazing. And I have my mum's um, first sewing machine, oh, how which is from 1938, I think. Um, really tiny. So oh, I, ha I have that one as well. And, oh, and that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good because they have these stories. It's great. They do. And I have a little collection of children's actual children's machines as well from oh, you know, through the years but uh, yeah I could do a bit more space <laughs> <laughs> that's always the problem more space and more time and as we were talking about earlier I also have a collection of sad irons mm -hmm. which are those black um the metal used to irons. put on the coals to heat yeah, up yeah that's right yeah brilliant so show me where we are right okay so with the you get a full set of instructions um for the for the quilt and all your measurements of uh, what you need to cut out and assembly it's all it's all written there for you including how to do the binding and it's we start with the template and the template is over two pages i'm assuming this is how it will arrive with the the viewers so it will arrive in two pages you just trim those and glue them together like so and I put mine onto a piece of card. So you've just got it on a piece of card there. Perfect. Um, if you have got template plastic, obviously you could use that. And then you can reuse it. And we need to be cutting out um, eight of the kimonos. So for this quilt, all eight are different. Mm -hmm. uh, no, t no, they aren't different. I do beg your pardon. They're in pairs. So there is... This one and one at the bottom, which you can't see, that one is repeated at the bottom. This one is repeated a little bit lower down and those two match as well. So they, they've, they're in pairs as according to the pattern. But you could, because of the amount of fabric you've got, make each one totally different. different. You could also, if you wanted to, make each of these different and keep your kimonos all the same. All the same. So, yeah, well, there's, there's ways way you can play it. about. And, and also that you can swap. Say if you wanted black sashing with cream cornerstones, you could do that as well. Because there's definitely, you're getting a metre of the black and a metre of that one. So you've yes. got quite enough. And, and the sashing, you know, is, is quite It's a little bit thin. hungry, but it's not a thick it, one. No, it's not a thick it's not one. A small... It's not a thick one. Wonderful. So you have got some flexibility there. So make sure when, you, um, when you're doing the, 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 the designing, just have a little think about what you'd like to go where. 
and make sure you've got enough fabric obviously for it. And so we start with our template. Now this is a bondaweb technique. That's an applique technique, which um, you need your paper roll of bondaweb there. And we have some in stock as well today. This one is, I'm just double checking, this is 30 centimetres by five metres. And it comes off a roll, just like you'd have for your normal grease-free paper or your tin foil. Um, and it's a wonder it's wonderful. It, I, I would never be without it, no. you know, and I, I, and I tend well. to buy it in, in rolls It's much now. easier, it yeah. really is. Yeah. That's £23.99 then for the roll of five metres. And five metres lasts you ages, it yeah. really does. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. A little tip, if you've got a roll like that and it keeps coming undone, one of those hair elastics. You clever girl. You see, it's not just about the quilting techniques. You're getting these <laughs> wonderful tips as well. But I do love that, that people share their different ways that things are well, being made Well, you live and learn, don't you? <laughs> Every time I, if somebody says something like that, I'm like, how do you know that? <laughs> Tell me how you know. <laughs> I also have one over my bobbin box because for some Ooh. reason it tends, I don't know, you drop it on the floor, you kick it or something, and all the bobbins are falling out, so I put one. Yeah. I've got one of those little spirals that I put my bobbins in. Oh, yes. Yes, I those work quite well. Yes, but you've still got the problems so the threads come out. Yeah. You can never yeah. solve it all. So, um, we've got our template, and to talk about Bondaweb, if you haven't used it before, it's a paper with, almost like a greaseproof paper, with a um, glue, a dry glue, on the back of it so it's not wet or sticky and it will keep for a long 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 time the paper side is the side that you would draw on and that's what we will do with our template on the bond web you would draw on the paper side then you cut that out not exactly on the drawn line so a little bit outside the drawn line so we've got just a little rough bit of a border. They recommend about half an inch, but you know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit mean, so I prefer about a quarter <laughs> of an inch. But <laughs> so there you go. So there's a couple of examples of that. I've written numbers that you can possibly see on the back. Actually, I'll turn the other way because I'm on the overhead, aren't I? So we've got, uh, I put some numbers on so that I know where I want them to go on the quilt itself, on the layout. So we've drawn, the, we've drawn that on to the paper side of the bond web. We now press that onto the fabric with a, a, a hot iron and the instructions for what temperature to use are, are written on the, on the bond web pack itself. So we iron those on and then we're going to cut, cut those out. Do you have a separate pair of scissors for that? I, I've been asked this a number of times. Yes, it's paper and so yes, it could blunt your scissors, but if you try to use paper scissors on fabric, you're more likely to make a mess of the fabric. Now your fabric is the more you know valuable thing. So I would tend to use good scissors and just keep them sharpened. Mm. Um, if I'm only cutting paper, then yes, I definitely have a different pair of scissors. But for, for bond web cutting, and usually you're not cutting miles and no. miles of it. So I think it's worth being kind to your fabric and cutting out with good scissors. Now it's interesting, a lot of people would have just put an entire rectangle on there, onto the fabric, then drawn it on. You could do that. Because you'd have the fabric, the bondaweb piece, um, if you wanted to use that for other little bits and bobs. You could do that. And but I'll... I love the way, I love watching different people's techniques, because no, no one's right or wrong, it's just what works no, best for you. No, and the, the pattern describes it in the way that I've described it, but yes, you could do it that way. It depends, as I say, how, how mean or otherwise you want to be with your <laughs> underwear. But I will just explain a little technique as well that you can do with the bits left over. I haven't got a demonstration of it, but I can explain it. So there we've cut out our, our kimono and we will be pressing that onto a piece of fabric. But in the meantime, just to show you, we've now got this sort of scrap of partly bondwebbed fabric, which is to be thrown away really. What I tend to do is cut it up into little sections that have got bondweb on them. So imagine you've got a few now with different fabrics. And then onto a, um, a scrap bit of calico or plain oh, fabric, yes. press them on. And now imagine these are all different coloured fabrics. 
and you can make yourself a new piece of fabric. So you, you'd bond all those on, make sure all the gaps are covered, bond all those on, and then you can machine over that or quilt it and uh, use it for sort of a bag or a table mat. Or... Literally, I'm sitting there and I'm watching you cut all those up and I'm in my ear, I'm like, oh, Sally's gone rogue, I can't wait, what's she doing? What's she doing? And we love watching things like this because literally even I was leaning forward going, oh, that's so clever because yeah. I have got loads of little pieces yeah. that have got bond web on it. Yeah. What a really clever thing to do because you could create a various different stained glass windows effect. Yes, with you that. can. I mean, I wouldn't and throw any of those on, away. But if you put that on a black piece of fabric, yep. you've already got it um, Yes, you out. could. You could You could do it. Look, in, there she goes. Sense. There she goes, so, we're already off. So there, so th say if that was black or you prefer the cream, then yes, you could have a board. You could make it. those really textual as well. Yeah, you brilliant. could blanket stitch around them. You could just stitch over them oh, randomly. Sally, you are a... See, this is why we keep having you back. You're so full of fabulous information. And another thing that I've, I've taught to beginners is if you do this and you feel, oh, I'm not going to catch all the edges or whatever, a layer of, um, like, um, what do you call it, like voil? Oh, yes. Over the top or net or something like that. And then, then it stitch through that and it will hold it all down. But then it's definitely a stained glass window. That is brilliant. Oh, I love that. So you've got an extra demo. Totally not related to the pattern, <laughs> but using all your scraps at the end. I hate That's, waste. No, I, I agree waste. with you. Especially with fabric, especially some this lovely. Yeah. Yes, it is. Because it, it is really lovely fabric. Is lovely. And, uh, well, as you can see, it doesn't fray badly. Not at all. So... Yeah, that's good. So I'll get that out of the way. And the great thing is the colourways of this would fit into every home as well. It's oh, I think really so. Lovely. I think so. I thought these were little berries, these little things. It's but, interesting because um, it could be a berry, it could be a flower, yeah. it could be a little bee or a, a bug of some kind. Yeah. But it's really lovely and very contemporary. It is. So we have now a bonded piece of mm -hmm. um, uh, bonded kimonos. Now, somebody was actually asking this, I think, on Facebook yesterday. If I don't press this onto the fabric now mm -hmm. and I go away for a day or a week or a month, do I have to repress it? Will it not be sticky oh, that's anymore? A good and someone was asking that yesterday. Well, no, one of the brilliant things about Bonderweb is that now you can leave it like that. And in fact, to make it easier to peel the paper off, I would leave it a little bit extra time, even overnight. Because then it's not as hot. And it hasn't got heat in it. So yes, it's that's cold. right. And it makes it easier to peel away. So when it's still warm, it tends to stay stuck. But when it's cool like this, you can just either wrinkle it or get a pin. Yes, the pin will and, I do. And the peel pin. it up yeah. and peel off your paper. Brilliant. Um, you make it look so easy. <laughs> it is easy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we are going to bond. Now, those are a square, aren't they? They are a square. Let me just put the iron on so we can demonstrate pressing. So we do, there we go. Now, to make sure that the kimono is placed in the centre of the square, what I did was just finger pressed the background in four. So you end up with your crease lines and do the same thing oh, with wow. the kimono. And it'll press out so you won't, you, know, you won't see it. And that just helps you then to line up the creases. Oh Sally, that's so clever. To keep it nice and, and central. <clears throat> and you don't need to pin it or anything as long as you just leave it like that. You will be able to press it. And the iron's only just warming up so it might take a little bit longer to press on. I think the steam is activated as well. That doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter. I tend to use steam quite a bit, although... With Bondo Web as well? Yeah, oh, I do. Okay. Um, I don't always use it in the studio, in case the steam steams up my specs. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. That I definitely want to ask you how you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, and wearing these masks. I know. You need, like, little fans. <laughs> Gotta be done. <laughs> I've got to come up with a solution. But that is so. So wonderful. there you go. So your kimono is. is but it's really, on. it is quite simple to do. It's the cutting out was the hardest bit of that. Yes. 
it is the drawing and the and the because the bonder wave is really easy to attach to very easy to use very but good. for people that haven't used it before you know you draw on the paper side if you haven't used it before my top tip is make sure that the tacky side is not on your iron side yes you want to make sure that the grease proof paper side is on your iron you'll feel as you feel it you'll you'll feel it's got a sort of a bumpy edge that's the side that goes to your fabric not to your iron Ask both of us how we know that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and at, at home, and it in takes fact, hours getting it off your iron. It, it yes, it's difficult, and 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 the trouble is, you can transfer marks then yeah. to another piece. Um, this is a kind of grease proof. What I do is, you can either put that over the top when you're pressing the others, or at home, I just have a sheet oh. of grease proof or baking parchment. Now, with the baking parchment, I've written. Glue, glue, not yes. glue, so that way you know. <laughs> it, do, We've yes. got 20, about 18, 20 minutes left. For oh, right, okay. So, so I can keep you informed of the timing. Fair enough. So, the next thing to do is to stitch all around. And I've done a blanket stitch here. Oh, it looks so neat. And I've I can used... tell you my blanket stitch is nowhere near as neat as that. Well, it's not a machine, but you could do it by hand if you wanted to. You could even, if you wanted to do the kimono's needle turn, you could. Oh, so you just need to um, add on a quarter of an inch all around your template and then cut out a paper version of this or use, use something like that. Turn your fabrics over and hand applique if you wanted to. But this is a machine technique. It is, it is a, a very mm. simple one. And it's a nice one for a beginner to start with. And you can do blanket stitch or you could do satin stitch or some other stitch of your, your preference. And you could even just do a straight stitch so that you've got a little bit of a raggy edge. Some people quite like that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you were doing a, a straight stitch on eighth of an inch? Uh, yes. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. If you're going to have a, a, a rough edge, have yeah. a rough edge. And you would know. you decrease your stitch length then as well? Yes, probably. Yeah. Um, I tend to use 2.4 to 2.8 yeah. generally, uh, depending. depending. Mm. Um, we just see how the fabric Just see how it to. goes. Yeah. And I would also recommend if you've got a scrap bit of fabric, um, just, do, just cut a couple of scrap bits and practice either your blanket stitch or your, your satin stitch on that scrap first. Before you, before you do it on the good stuff. Attack the good want. stuff, yeah. yes. And I recommend that with any any project. Always do a little bit of a test. Brilliant. So there you go. So I'll take the ironing board away. So would you like me to do a bit of blanket stitching or should we go on if to... You could. Okay. Oh, and something else I was going to mention as well. This um, fabric, it is directional. It's got a stripe oh, in right, it yes. okay so with this particular one you can either do the kimono and if i go to the quilt you can do a kimono with the stripes running mm -hmm. down or the stripes i, I have to across. say i think i would do them to the side that both look lovely it didn't occur to me till i've tried to turn it around so you've got two options with with that with that one like that and and just bear in mind if you if you want both of your kimonos to match because it's in pairs then just you know either make them both the same if you prefer to make them different that's absolutely fine perfect okay so let's just do a little bit of so we're now at the point you've cut all your squares out you've cut your kimonos out and now you're going We've to bonded them on bonded them on and, and now, now we're, we're going, going to do your blanket stitch on there now, I, I would recommend, particularly perhaps if you're a beginner, that you use some sort of stabiliser underneath, particularly okay. with smaller pieces of applique. And that would be something like stitch and tear. Mm -hmm. um, or if not, just another scrap piece of fabric underneath. Because you can find, and, and your machine will tell you what it likes, you can find with some machines, they don't like just stitching a blanket stitch or a satin stitch through this just the fabric and the bonder yeah. whip, yeah. So if you were doing a scrap piece of fabric, what colour would you need to keep it light? If it's a cream block like this, you then yes, a, cream a white or a cream. Um, but if it's a dark one, obviously, then you could, uh, do, whichever you you could like. do whichever you like. Yeah. Brilliant. So let's go to the machine. Hopefully you'll be able to see. No, I haven't set. Oh, the machine isn't even switched on. thought it was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I can't help you with the cut number, but if you lift the put the handle down and lift yeah. that lid, it's got it's all the numbers, the numbers on there. Numbers are, so we need mode. Ooh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? There's so many beautiful stitches on that machine. So we need mode one, that's fine, and 39. So I've picked the blanket stitch setting Which on Which on this one is 20, 39, and you're going to do two and a half wide and two and a half long. Yep, that's right. Brilliant. That's what is come up as standard, so we'll see how it works out. But again, you might just want to... to Give it a bit of a taste. Yeah, because you might want your blanket stitch legs a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, so I've not done a test with this, so we'll have to... What could possibly go what wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Yep. So I'll close that down. When you start your blanket stitch, your needle will be in whatever position it needs to for the blanket stitch. So just rotate the um, okay. the wheel to make sure your needle is in the position for the start of the blanket stitch. You do make it look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> And now you've, our machine set that your needle will always end up being down. That's right. And um, try to end up with the needle as far to the right of the blanket stitch. When you come to a corner or a turn, mm -hmm. put your needle down either by hand or, you know, you'll get the hang of it with, um, with the foot control as well. Make sure that your needle is on the outside so that when you turn it, your next legs of the blanket stitch will be in the right place. You won't end up with a little no. bit hanging over. And they should then cross over the previous stitch they before you turn, shouldn't they? Yeah. See, the, it's the underarm I'm intrigued about. How do you get to that? Yeah, because this now, we need the needle to go the other way. So at the moment your needle, before you do the turn, is on the outside of the blanket. Yeah, no, it's, it's still on the outside. Sorry, yep. I didn't explain that very well. It's still on the outside. So we just go and make sure it's still on the outside. That's yes. the far right. And then rotate again. And then rotate again. Brilliant. And again, on the outside. So you're always pivoting on the outside. We've got about 12 minutes left. Okay. We can, if, if you don't mind, we can finish this one. Of course. Quite a, a technique I've learned over the years now, how to sew standing. <laughs> <laughs> it's very different, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly gives you a good view of the machine. Wow. Okay, I have a bit of a stop warning for everybody. Our mega bundle, which is these 14 pieces of half, uh, is it 14 or 15? 14 um, pieces, half meters, we're down to three. So at this point, this is now not to make the quilt, this isn't enough fabric to make the quilt. Um, you could do it scrappy, but you won't have enough fabric to make the quilt. Um, and you won't get the instructions, obviously. But the um, 14 different fabrics, half a metre, we're down to three. So this is the time when I remind you, please check out your baskets, because if, if we're hearing that two of them are in people's baskets at the moment. There's one out there. There's one left for the going. So if it's in your basket at the moment, please do check out. I'd hate for somebody else to come along and check out first. And then they get it ahead of you and you won't be able to get it. Please make sure you check out. We don't want you to miss out. These are also available by the half meter on the website. So do check that out as well if you are after some of these fabrics. Aren't they amazing? This, they, Sorry they about that. go to, together oh, so we've got well. got number one, the bundle. On the bundle for the kit, there are 11 left. So do make sure you check out, and it's, if it's in your basket, please take a moment, check out. It's only the 3.95 PNP all day. We don't want you to lose out. Check out now. We don't want you to miss out on it. Okay. Gosh, that sold really well. Oh, but this please. fabric is so good. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen a lot of Jo Morton's fabric before? before? I have over the years, She's yes. She's brilliant, isn't she? Yes, and she has a very... Um the right word a sort of reliable style very yeah you very. know what you're gonna it's get it's very content because she does mix traditional and contemporary yeah. really well it just puts that lovely little twist on it 
Did you say this range is called Lancaster? Yes. I've, just as a, an aside here. I only discovered this recently, very recently. Thank you to my friend Rose Lewis in, um, sadly, in Melbourne. Thank but, you, Rose. Um, she's in lockdown again. Um, in Australia, and probably you all know this, I didn't, linens, like bed linen, mm -hmm. pillowcases, are called Manchester. That I did know. I didn't know that. That I did know. So you go, you walk into a department store yep. and it says, you know, shoes, underwear, and Manchester. Manchester. <laughs> and you think, what? Um, I did know. And I, and I had to ask her and she said, oh, yeah, don't you call it that? And apparently it's because when... Um, Back in the, the day. The cotton mills yep. in the UK were, were thriving. Manchester was, was the hub the, of that. And yeah, so somehow the name got, got carried, away, carried over. Oops, I've gone slightly awry there. No one will notice. <laughs> if you do, just unpick it and start again. But And the great thing with being able to do this method is with the blanket stitch, you can do various contemporary threads and contrasting threads and do that. It would be really interesting. Oh, we've had a message in from Julie. Morning, Julie. Good morning. She's saying good morning both. She's loving the demo. Aren't, aren't they amazing? She's very good. Thank you so much for messaging in. It's nice to hear that people are really there. <laughs> You're really there. <laughs> I know that they are because I get such lovely messages oh, after they the are show. Lovely, so, aren't they? Yeah. I think my favourite message I've ever gotten, we did a book for Trish Burr, and not knowing Trish was South African, um, and she was living in Cape Town, or lives in Cape Town, should I say. And she'd written this incredible embroidery book, which we've still got, um, inspired by the flowers of Kew Gardens. Oh, wow. And when I did the book, um, I pulled it up and I said, oh, this is by Trish Ball. Mo Trish Burr. And I went, morning, Trish. And apparently she was watching with all of her family in oh, South Africa crikey. that evening. And the whole family's waved at the screen to oh, say that, which I love. I think that's wonderful. I don't think my friend Rose will be watching because it's probably middle of the night there well, or she something. Can but um... stream through on YouTube. Yes, she, she does. She oh, that's does. brilliant. Yes. That looks so good. So there you go. So you'd make eight of those just She'd in the different colours. She'd make eight of those colors. in the different colours as, as, as you wish, or as the pattern describes, in pairs. Perfect. We've got about eight minutes left. Do you think that's okay. enough to show people how to put the sashings yep, on? it is. Because I think it's always tough. Some people haven't done sashings before. Yeah. So we have our squares with the kimonos kimono. on. And then we have our... Solid squares, yes, which makes this quilt grow very so quickly, quickly so quickly. Um, so you're alternating a kimono block with a solid block, and they are divided by what's called sashing. And again, if you're a beginner, basically sashing is just like a divider between your blocks. Okay, so the instructions will explain that you cut your strips and you sew to the side of each of the blocks, both the solid ones and the sashing, and the uh, kimono ones. Now, do you sew on the same side each time? Yes. Perfect. So you do on the right? Well, you can do on the right or you the left. Whatever, yeah. Because if we go to the quilt, you'll see that there's one on the right and left of every, every row. Um, but if you start by sewing them on the right hand side, and then when you finish the row, you just sew on, on the, the left. left. Yeah. Um, so we'll just, if I clear that and we go to the machine, I'll just stitch. Now I think if you move it to 5.5 where it says 4.5. Oh, there we go. Oh, you know <laughs> your machines. I like it. <laughs> on these machines. On this like machine, if you type 06, zero six, you get the perfect yeah. quarter inch foot, quarter inch seam. Yeah. And that varies. And if you, um, I like a, a scant quarter inch for a lot of things, so, so you can just make it a little bit uh, narrower as well. Got about six minutes left. Okay, we'll be able to do that. Not rushing you. No, we've got plenty of time. Thank you. Six <laughs> minutes, you finished the whole quilt. Yes. Well, I did make it in quite a short amount of time. It is really I, I know I, I work quickly. I sort of have to work quickly. but um, And I always say to people, you don't have to rush. You're not in a race here. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but I think this one took me two days to make. Brilliant. Um, as you said, the longest part was 
drawing the shapes and cutting them out. So there you go, you've sewn on your sashings and you would join your row as we have on the quilt. So we've got kimono, plain kimono. Perfect. When we've sewn those together, I'll just sew two together to show you the example, we, we then put the horizontal rows on. The horizontal is the one I always struggle with. Yes, and I'll just give you a little tip about that. Oh, good. I definitely need a tip for that. <laughs> and I, I sometimes cut the sashing a little bit longer than it says in the pattern. You see, I always do as well. Mm. Um, it only needs to be a quarter of an inch, half an inch at mm. most. My but it makes is, sure. When I put the cornerstones on, I forget to trim to it. Trim it off. Yes. <laughs> so it's that moment where you're in mid seam and you can't understand why you've got a quarter of an inch or half That's an right, inch it's extra all fabric. Gone wobbly. <laughs> okay. So we're sewing our rows together. Brilliant. As you can see. So I see where your left, where your right hand is. You can yeah. see your sa your sashing's a little bit longer. That's right. Do you trim that then at the end, or how? I, I would I would say so. I've finished the row now, so I want to do Perfect. my next horizontal. I'd trim it either with scissors or with them. Um, because the good thing about doing it at cutter. the end is, if you are slightly off, you've, you can you've then got line plenty. everything up. You can't, you know, if you're short, yeah. you can't add any on. Yeah. But, um, well, you can. It's well, just a little can, bit difficult. Well, you can, but it, yes. and it looks messy. And and you've got plenty of fabric. An extra half or quarter of an inch on each strip isn't going to hurt anybody. So we're now coming to the horizontal sashing and the measurements need to be more exact here. So you'll have a strip of sashing and what these are called cornerstones and they're just things to make the join. If you prefer and you didn't want cornerstones you could just join your strips and have them just mm. plain. And if you're a little bit concerned about getting them to line up, you may choose to do that. That's entirely up to you. Do you know I have a friend with cornerstones that size? She paper pieces squares and squares. You know, no. <laughs> diamonds and a squares. And she matches them perfect. She's one of the most incredible quilters I've ever oh. met. But literally that size, she'll do them and have them as different fabrics. You could applique them over the top, I guess. Oh, no, she would to. never do that. No, no, she's very <laughs> traditional in that way. No, that's pressed. We've got about three minutes left. Okay, now. so I'll just quickly press this seam. I'm not rushing you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a sort of little tip here. If you press, when you're joining your corners, your, your sashing strips, press towards the little cornerstone, mm -hmm. okay? But then on these blocks that you're joining, press the seams away. Oh, you're going to nest your seams. So we're going seams. to nest the seams, yeah. You clever lady. Well, it's Sort of standard practice, but uh, to demonstrate I, it. I, <laughs> I've been doing this for years and I've never had done that. But oh, we've yeah. had a message in from Angela. Morning, Angela. Good morning. She's saying, hello, everybody. What a great show. Isn't she fabulous? <laughs> she absolutely loves watching um, Sally and John together. Well, we love she, having yeah, you watch. It's nice you. to be together, isn't it? Yes. Sorry? Entertaining but instructive. That's a really <laughs> lovely thing to say. Thank you so much. So, from Angela in Sunny Dorset. Have a great day, sweetheart. Thank you. We're going to join our sashing right sides together, mm -hmm. horizontal sashing towards. Now, the I vertical. hate pinning, but I will say whenever I do my sashing cornerstones, that's the one. Yeah, I, I I'm not pin. a pinner at all, um, but I do for this particular technique. So, if you can see, I'm hoping you can see on the overhead, we've, we've now got seams going that way on the cornerstone and seam allowance going this way. Brilliant. On the other strip. And they will snuggle in and sort of nest together. So you've got seam that way, seam that way. To make doubly sure, put a pin through the fabric and up through the stitch line itself. Oh, clever. And if it's on the stitch line on the back, you're accurate. If you're not, wiggle that along until it is. Oh, Sally, that's just a game changer. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one, that. <laughs> It's made my life a lot easier. So I'm rushing a bit there, but if your pin is matching front and back, you can do the same on the other one. Then when you come to stitch it, you know you're, you know you're okay. Do you ever have moments where someone says something and your whole life of errors that you've made with cornerstones flashes before your eyes <laughs> and you think, that is so simple, why did I well, not know this? There's, there's another silly thing I discovered, again, only fairly recently. You know you have a stapler, like an office stapler? Mm -hmm. 
a lot of them are designed so that if you take the peel the bottom off, which mm -hmm. you think, what's that for? That's where you store your staples. Who knew? Well, we have one minute left <laughs> after we've just changed all of those. That's so, brilliant. So having done your sashing now, if we go over to the, the quilt, we've done all the, the verticals, we've done the horizontals. All we need now is to put the, the, the binding on. And you do that by the cutting and joining these strips into one long one. And in fact, a width of fabric will do you for the top and bottom. Oh, brilliant. And then you join strips for the sides. For the sides. Do be aware, though, again, that this is a directional fabric. So have your little, I don't know what they are, little emblems anyway, pointing all in the Away, same direction. All, all if, in the same direction. Whichever either out or in. It's quite good that you point them out, because I think it always makes your eyes look as though the quilt's getting bigger. As yes, I, I always try to make things point out, except Brilliant. when I've got figures or faces or then animals and I in. point them in. Yeah. Yeah. Sally, I can't thank you enough. This has been so wonderful. Good, good. And you're back in, two, uh, back in an hour no, with our wonderful yeah. Creative Grids rulers. Yeah. We're just going to get Sally out safely with social distancing. We'll be back <laughs> in a few moments. Just a reminder of how best to shop with us. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. Wasn't that incredible? Oh, I love it when Sally's here. So we're just going to remind you what it is we've had on the show so far. The first thing we've had is our wonderful pattern for this quilt we've got behind us, which is what Cello, oh, which Sally was um, demonstrating on. I'm now able to report we're down to single figures on these. If you have got it in your basket, please make sure you check out. We don't want you losing out. Just to remind you what it is you're getting, you're getting this wonderful pattern, um, which has got all the templates, all the instructions on how best to do this. Brand new with us today. So you're getting the wonderful set of instructions. You're getting, I'm gonna get this in my right order, here we go. You're getting a meter and a half of this fabric. Then you're getting a meter and a half of this one. You're getting a meter and a half of your cream. You're then getting a meter of this one. <clears throat> and a meter of this fabric, just gorgeous, I love this. So those are a meter, so there we are at five, uh, four and a half, five, six and a half meters there, and then we're getting a half meter of these last four, so that's seven meters, seven and a half meters, eight meters, and eight and a half meters, and the wonderful pattern, all of that available today, for £119.99. Fantastic deal that. Now if you do buy that and you are needing, wanting to make this quilt, you're probably going to need some Bonder Web. You saw Sally use that there to be able to put the kimonos on. We sell these in spools that I just want to double check. They're 30 centimetres by 5 metres. Um, these are 23 99 today. Really, really good. And when you use them, make sure when you feel it, you've got a tacky side to it. That is the side that goes on your fabric and the smooth paper side is what goes to your iron. Ask me how I know. Then we have our wonderful mega bundle here. You've got 14 different um, different fabrics on this one. How many have we got left of this one, Hannah? Oh, we've got we've got two, and one looks like it's in the process of being checked out right now. But you can tell these fabrics are so so lovely, really great. 
But now remember, this is not the same as your quilt bundle. All of these are half meters, so you probably will not have enough fabric here to be able to make the quilt behind me, um, because there are seven meters here, and the other bundle was uh, eight and a half. Um, but you can see we've got 14 different fabrics here today for you. All different designs is I think it's the complete collection well it's certainly 14 of the collection and you can just tell these fabrics are so gorgeous Joe Morton has got this wonderful design aesthetic taking quilts from the 1900 of the 19th century which inspire the quilts of today uh, the fabric of today that she designs with a wonderful nice little twist every one of these fabrics is it all of them available still oh um, so some of them that were available by the half meter have sold out now, but do check the website because we have got all of the, uh, a lot of these by the half meter as well. So check those out. But the only way to get all 14 of them is in this mega bundle. And last time we looked, there were two left. One was in the process of being checked out. So there may only be one left of those. So make sure you check out on that. Next we've got block of the week. I'm so excited. And it's a double block of the week this week because it was Christmas last week. So we're going to be able to bring you block three and four after the break. See you in a moment. Hello, my name's Rachel Ilsley. Let me show you around my beautiful sewing studio, Magnolia. My sewing studio is in Wooten Bassett and on a daily basis, I alter and dress make for bridal customers. All my brides are absolutely wonderful. You can see I make waistcoats, bridesmaids, dresses, um, anything really they ask me for. Now my sewing story started as an adopted child and my adoptive mother was also a seamstress. So she taught me everything I know. So I feel extremely lucky to be able to now be doing this as a profession. Also very proud am I to be now a part of the Sewing Street family. And I so look forward to being on the shows with all of your support, which I know that I have. My claim to fame. Well, I did appear on another sewing channel in last November, on the 7th of November. Some of you may have watched it. Um, and so that was my little claim to fame. So I've just literally risen from a full time insurance job to sewing as a profession. I look forward to seeing you all. Bye! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? 
I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer, and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Welcome back. I'm John Cole Morgan and it's Block of the Week. Uh, we had a slight malfunction. We couldn't quite get both of these on. Our little uh, ru uh, pole that we had fell off and broke. So we've got one of the rulers up, one of the, uh, the quilts up. So this is the rainbow, um, have we called this blossom? This is the blossom colorway here. Um, and I'm going to be very artistic and put this on as well. Sorry, that's the rainbow one, I keep getting these confused. And this is our blossom colorway here. Absolutely adore these new blocks of the week. I'm very, very proud of these. Um, so I'll show you those in more detail now. But what we're gonna first do is recap our lovely early bird. Isn't this the most wonderful way? You're getting 36 of these fabulous embroidery flosses. They are so amazing. They're working out at 22 pence per um, skein. But the great thing is, is you've got these wonderful variegations through each one of these different threads. They are really, really special. And I love the way you've got these really bright, vibrant pinks and reds and oranges. Look at that gorgeous orange. But as you pull them out, you can see you're going from a really bright, vibrant orange here. And then as you progress through the skein, you see you're, you're going down to this wonderful, subtle, light peach back up to that beautiful, beautiful deep orange. It's a really, really lovely product, this. I love these. And it's great to be able to do as a little addition. And I was just looking at this now, and I'm thinking with our lovely um, rainbow colorway, there's quite a lot of teals and greens. And I was looking at that, and I was thinking, gosh, any form of embroidery you wanted to do, it would work really, really well with that. So I can show you on these. This is our colorway for our rainbow. You can tell there, look how beautiful these um, threads work on there. Even I'm just looking there, that pink one would work so beautifully as well. I love these little threads, they're very sweet. And then we've got that purple and pink which ties that block in beautifully with that block too. It's just a nice way to be able to make, do a nice little embellishment or do something slightly different than you normally do at such a great price. Yours obviously will look a lot nicer than this. I've been playing with them and pulling them all apart but you can see each and every one comes there. How many meters in each of these? Is it eight? Eight meters in each skein, that's it, yes. So there's eight meters of thread in each one of these and you've got that wonderful variegation. And I think it is four strands. Excuse me while I count them. One, two, three, four. There's six strands in each of these. So they've got six strands in them and they're eight meters. So it's such a lot of thread as well. And the colors are so beautiful. So last week, um, I know everybody was expecting block three, 
but it was Christmas, Santa was coming. So we had to then go and do our Christmas special because it was Christmas and it was me and I was there and I couldn't, I was like too excited about Christmas. So thank you for being with, so patient with us doing blocks three and four this week. Um, it's just, I love block of the week, really, really, but you've got a double special now today. So let me show you what we've done, what we're doing today. We're going to be doing block three. So this is our blossoms colorway. We've got two colorways in this quilt. This is what you're going to be getting today when you get your block. So you're going to get your panel and you're going to get your set of instructions. And that's your moving on up block of the week three. And there we go. And then your panel is going to look like this. This is how big your panel is this week. That's for block three. Now the great thing with this is, what we've done is we wanted to make sure that people could choose their own background colours. Um, so what we've done is each one of these kits, uh, each one of the, of the block of the weeks, you're going to need to buy two and a half metres of your background fabric. Um, and the background fabric, you can choose what you like. So that's for the whole quilt. Um, I need to double check, but I think it was one point two meters you needed for your borders and your sashings. So if you were looking to see how much fabric you needed to buy to make the blocks as you go, um, you'd need to buy, I think it's, what's 1.2? My math is, you need to buy 1.3 meters to be able to make the quilt blocks, all 16 of them, and then 1.2 meters for the border and the sashing, as I recall. I'll double check that later on today, but as far as I'm aware, that's right. And then the background fabric, what's so great then is once you've got the two and a half meters of background fabric, you've got it. It's not going to change. There's no color variations. It's all yours. And you can do that with a wonderful, wonderful collection of fabrics that we've got. We've got these as today as a special, but I'll bring those up to you in a moment and show you where you are. So this is our Blossoms colorway. Now, one of the best tips that I've had asked, what do they all look like? What we did is we printed out each one of these um, fabrics. Uh, stitch them together to, um, in order for you here and what you'll be able to see now is that is fabric two three four five six seven eight nine so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the great thing is, is we're able to zoom in on these and you'll be able to see all of the details on these wonderful fabrics for you to be able to know exactly what it is that you're going to be getting on these. Because I think it's quite nice to be able to see exactly where you are. So that is what the fabrics look like. You've got the instructions and the panel. So block three in this colorway looks like that. And that's now with a cream background. And you can see that is just so beautiful. I love that. I think that's really, really pretty. Um, so that is our block three in the blossom colorway. Let me now show you with a cream background. So we've done it in three colorways. We've chosen white, cream, and black. So that was the cream background there. Now we've also got today the moving on app block three, but in the rainbow colorway. So this is the instructions here. So your background colors, again, we've given you the three colorways options of black, white, or, sorry, black, white, or cream. That is right. Yes, I thought I got that right. Um, and, but we then, we give you a panel every week that'll look, they'll just vary different e each week. That's how much you're getting on this week's panel. Um, and then you'll be able to see the fabrics that you're getting for the whole quilt there. I'm not sure how to put this out because if I do that maybe. There we go. So that's what the panel looks like and you're getting the wonderful set of instructions there for week three. Now the w block we're going to make this week, let me show you what the block looks like this week. Uh, we've chosen to do this in a white colorway and we'll mix and match these as we go along um, because I'd like to give you all the options and show you what it is you can make out of them in different colors and what it looks like. So this is what the blocks looks like in the white colorway. But also we were asked what do all the colors look like without, because obviously we haven't used all the colors yet. So just double checking, I've got these the right way around. Right, I haven't. So that one is fabric two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Brilliant. So that is what you're going to be able to make. That's what the colors look like. This is the rainbow colorway there. Now the colorways that we've matched this with, we've got two different ways that you can purchase this. You can either buy them in our wonderful two and a half meter bundles that we've provided for you. We've got that available for you in the white. So we're gonna do, we've got the white in two and a half meters. So that is enough to make the borders, the sashing, all of the, um, the quilts, everything you need for the front of the quilt two and a half meters, and that's going to be 17 pounds 45. Now these are also available by the half meter. So if you did just wanna buy as you go, you wanna buy the white as you go, you're welcome to do that as well. Um, and those available then for three pounds 49 a meter, a half meter. So do check the website on for that. Um, we've also got this available for you in the cream. So you can see there's a lovely colorway there with the cream. That's also two and a half meters there, 17 pounds 45. And again, if you did want to buy these by the half meter as you go, most welcome to do. Perhaps you're just buying one block and wanting to make one block. You need half a meter of that to go as your background fabric. We've also got those available on the website now for three pounds 49. Just um, have a search on our website for cream fabric and it'll pop up for you. Then our last choice we've got today is our black fabric background which I think is just so contemporary and has worked so, so well. And I've got some examples to show you for the previous weeks we've done there. Two and a half meters of the black fabric. We've got that then also for 17 pounds. Is it 17.45? We're just double checking the graphic now. See what I love about the dark background and I'm jumping ahead as well. Um, while we find that I did week two with our black background and just look how that pops. It absolutely just pops so beautifully there. Whereas we did the same one with the white in week two and it pops as well, but you can just tell the black really shows those fabrics up so beautifully. I'm gonna to have to put these on here. I'm running out of fingers there, but you can see the black really highlights those fabrics so beautifully there. So for me, I love the blacks. I think they work really, really well. So what we're gonna be making now, we're gonna be doing two blocks today. We're doing our block three. So these are block three that we've got here. These are the two different colorways that we've chosen to do today. So that's gonna be what we're making then. Don't they look so different with the different fabrics there? I think they're fab. So that is our block three. Now we also got our block four today. Um, and block four is same as before. You're getting a wonderful set of instructions. Let me lay the panel out first. We're gonna start with the blossom colorway. Got the blossom colorway here for block four. And you can see it's a good size panel. If I got it into the shop, that would be helpful. There we go. So you can see it's a really good size panel that. You're also getting the wonderful set of instructions. The great thing about the instructions is there are loads of pictures. You've got loads of different diagrams on how you do it. And you've got the fabric key at the back so that you know when I refer to fabric two in my pattern over here, fabric two, um, fabric two is there, fabric three is there, fabric three is there. You then know exactly which fabric we're talking about because you've got that wonderful key at the back to be able to do it. Um, so that is our blossoms colorway that we've got there. And then we've also got our rainbow colorway. Our blossoms colorway is proving to be the most popular at the moment. I love the rainbow, but I think it's the black colorway is definitely at the background is definitely proving to be the most popular as well. So you're getting the wonderful set of instructions, same set of instructions with all the pictures and details on how to do it and the background fabrics to um, the key to go. You're getting this wonderful set of um, panels here and you do end up with fabric left over. So if you do make mistakes, don't worry. It's absolutely fine. You've got enough left over for you. And then you're gonna be making for your block four today, we are making these blocks. So this is the blossom and we've done this with a cream background there. That's our blossom block there. Um, and then we've got our rainbow block here as well. And you can tell if you wanna see this in the quilt where it's going, you can tell just there that's what we're making today that's our block for the day one of the blocks for today so that we're gonna 
Now, with me, I'm very lucky because I've already made these. I can then keep these here to refer to them as I go along. So we're going to first do block three. I'm going to pop those there. Um, and then I'm going to just pop blocks two and one next to each other as well, just so we can count them up as we go. Very proud of these. They're great. What I love about these is there's so many people getting involved on social media with them. It's great to be able to see what everybody's doing and the different colours people have chosen. I saw some really fabulous combinations of colours as well with people doing. So one lady was doing claret, a beautiful, beautiful claret as a background, which I think is really lovely. Now, because we've got a double whammy today, I've been very good and I've actually gone and prepared my block and done a little bit of the work beforehand. So my block three, I'm, test, I'm doing in my rainbow colorway for my block three. So what I've done here is try to make my life a little bit easier. You'll cut these all out as per the instructions, the measurements, etc., all there. And I do suggest every single time two things, I'm going to move this down a little bit, is when I cut my border piece off, you'll see it's named everywhere. I keep those very nearby together with my panel here. And the reason being is it's very, very easy to get confused as to what it is that you're looking at. So I keep these very close to hand just over here. So I know if I'm referring to fabric two, that's what it should look like. If I'm looking for fabric five, that's what it should look like. If I'm looking for fabric three, that's what it should look like. And it just makes my life that little bit easier to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes. Now with this block, what I loved about it is you're going to make five of one block and you're going to make four of another. So today I'm going to make two of each so you know what it is that you're doing. Now this one, I wanted to make sure that I showed you this because we've had some questions in the past about accurate cutting. Now this one I think shows quite well. Because what I'd done is I wanted to make sure that I showed you um, I showed you here. Can I just, sorry, the, um, so where, where we've got this here, you're going to be doing a quarter of an inch seam. So you can see over here, I've got a, I've, I've cut the fabric on purpose like that. And the reason being is, is as I lay this ruler on top of it, you can see that it is within the quarter of an inch. So I'm still going to be able to sew that without there being any problem at all. That little blue bit of fabric there is not going to show through on my fabric. It's not going to be any problem at all. So when you sew these together, you just then are able to make sure that you're absolutely fine. If you have cut it with a little bit of excess, you're absolutely fine. You don't need to worry. This little green fabric is directional. Um, some of them are. I've moved mine and made them all different. My green ones, I'm going to try and make the same. So I'm going to have the, that one pointing to the middle and I'm having that one pointing out. Um, the green ones, this green one's not directional and the pink isn't directional. So as you go through the steps of the pattern, it advises you to make these four patches the same each time. So I'm going to start by making this one over here. And all you're going to do is you just be consistent on it. I fold these and I put them next to my sewing machine and I fold them and then I know that everything that I'm folding, that's the top. The top bit is what I'm sewing and I'm sewing on this side. So when I put these all down like this, I know for everything that I now sew, I'm sewing with these on the top and I'm having my seam be on this side. Now when we've got so many of these to sew, I think that's quite a nice little tip, a nice little way of being able to do it. It just keeps you knowing what you're doing, especially if you're wanting to do chain piecing, because it's very easy to get confused um, with how you're doing your chain piecing. And all I'm doing now is sewing a quarter of an inch seam right down the side of this. Um, I'm doing it one thread smaller than a quarter of an inch seam, but I'm being consistent all the way through my block here. Right. 
So now I've sewn all four of those together. Now I learnt this trick from somebody online the other day, which I thought was very clever. Um, I'm going to finger press these because this is what they did and I want to just show you my, the little trick that they had. So all I'm doing over here is I'm just finger pressing those open, but I'm leaving them connected and then I'm finger pressing these. Now, as you know, I like to press my seams open and all I do then is I flop these round, check that they're still going the right direction and leaving that connected, I then put these together and make sure that my central seam is lined up there. Now, I know a lot of you won't want to do that. That was just something that I learnt and saw this week and I'm absolutely besotted with it. I think it's a really lovely way of being able to do chain piecing that your pieces remain together. And not bad, not bad. So then you can go and press those afterwards. Now traditionally what I used to do and what I do suggest people do as well, now, <coughs> pardon me, um, what you are doing, um, because I want my greens to be going the same way, so you can see these little arrows are pointing into the block, and these little arrows are, yes, these little arrows are pointing out. I just wanted to make sure I've got those in the right place. Now the other th product that we sell, that we use quite a lot, which I love, and you've seen me use before, is this lovely little roll and press. And the reason being is I haven't plugged the iron in. I forgot to plug the iron in, so there we go. So all I'm doing now is I'm pressing those seams open. This roll and press is such a lovely, lovely product to have. And it's perfect for now, where I just cannot go down and turn it and get it all sorted. So there we go, that's what I'm doing now. I press these seams open, I fold those on top of each other, make sure those are lined up beautifully. Those are lined up perfectly. At this point, if you're a pinner, you pin on either side of that seam. If you're a rogue like me and you don't want to pin, you don't have to, but you will probably get a better seam if you do pin it. Now over here, you remember I said to you that I've got a piece of fabric that I'd cut incorrectly on purpose that I was going to be burying in my seam. We just get a bit closer to that and I can show you. So you can see where I cut that little bit of blue fabric, you can see my green. That when I fold that open, oh my goodness that was a perfect point. You can see you can't see any of that error at all. So as long as you're within that quarter of an inch you're not going to have any problems. Now you're going to make five of these and when you want to see how they look in the quilt you can see you've got five here. You're making two of these, you're making two of these and you're making one of those. So you're going to make five of those in total just in different colorways and then we're going to make four of these blocks. Now these you cut out the uh, half square tri the triangles as per the instructions and what you're going to do then is you're going to make sure if you want to use best press go ahead that's the best thing to use it's a lovely product and it does get that nice little bit of stabilizer going for you and then all you're going to do is let the machine do the work for you. Don't press, pull, tug. You just let the machine gently guide your fabric through the machine. And I've got a tiny little ripple developing, so all you do is lift your foot up. And there we go. And then I'm going to just make four of those. So there we go. We've had a message in from Sandra. Morning. She says, good morning, John. Oh, her first attempt at quilting is my moving on uh, quilt. That's so lovely. And she's been patiently waiting for blocks three and four to be demonstrated. Oh, I'm so pleased. And it's Friday and it's demo and it's a double whammy. Thank you, Sandra. That's lovely to hear. Thank you. And please share pictures on our social media platforms. I love seeing what people are making and with the different products. It's really lovely.
And as you get more confident, you just let your machine have a little bit of welly and off it goes and you're all sorted. Now I've managed to plug my iron in now so I can now press these all. There we go. And now this is block three that we're doing now, but don't forget, all of the blocks are available, so you can join in at any time. Um, even the previous block of the month, uh, block of the week quilt is available. You can get all of those on the website. Um, just type in block and week, and you'll get all the search options on there. And don't forget, all of the videos of all the demonstrations are all available on YouTube. Um, those are all available in our playlist. Each one of the block of the weeks have got a playlist. The first one was called New Beginnings. Second one is called Moving On Up. And what the, get, what the idea is, is that each one of these quilts is to be able, each of the blocks is to be able to improve your skills every week. Now, if you are doing your um, half square triangles and you're pressing them, I'll try and press it that way so you can see a bit more. I always set my seams. And of course, Oh, I put a little bit too much base press on there, but that's okay. It's going to smell lovely. It's got the lovely lavender smell to it there. Oh, that's beautiful. So all I'm doing there, now with the half square triangles, if you set your seams, it is very, very simple. You can just go with the nose of your iron and you just gently guide across that seam there. You can see I'm just very gently. And once I've done that, I do that. I'm just going to turn my steam off because I don't need quite so much steam. Oh, and I'm loving it. I'm hearing people are buying block one today as well for the first time. Lovely to have you. Thank you. So all you're doing there again, I'm not going to use quite so much base press then. I got a little bit carried away. Just give that a nice little squirt there. And this block does come together quite easily and quickly. Um, and it's a really nice way of being able to make sure that you are practicing your quarter inch seams. You're making sure you're getting a nice, good, scant quarter inch. Uh, one thing I've just realized I didn't do, some of you may be doing this triangle for the first time. So let me just do one very, very quick um, public service announcement, if you like. On your quarter inch, uh, when you're sewing a quarter inch, when you do your stitching, Okay, so when you are stitching a quarter inch seam, normally, well, let me show you on this triangle, this square over here. When you're stitching a quarter inch seam, you can see over here that is probably a little bit too narrow. That's what we call a very scant quarter inch. So where you've got the dotted line, that is your, that's meant to be your seam line. And then you can see just under here, I'm going to put my lovely owls from the 11 o'clock hour underneath there. I'm going to get a little it's quite hard to show you white on white fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. There we go. So you can see by doing that, aren't these owls stunning? Check the 11 o'clock hour, they're beautiful. Now what you're doing there is you can see that that little dark line over there is meant to be your quarter inch seam. And if I line that up on where the seam actually is, you can see that I've gone two or three threads in from the edge to be able to do my seam. That is what we call a scant quarter inch. And we're wanting to make sure that when you do your scant quarter inch, the reason you do it is then when you finish doing your sewing and you've then folded the fabric back, that the fold is included in the quarter of an inch. Because if you sewed dead on a quarter of an inch, then fold the fabric over. So if I've got my fabric and I fold it over, you can tell if I fold over there, the, and, it's, and I know it seems silly, but the height of that fold between my fingers, it may only be two or three threads, but two or three threads along your block, you could end up with a quarter of an inch difference. So where people have had blocks that have come out at a quarter of an inch or half an inch difference, sometimes that's to do with your pressing and your quarter inch seam or your cutting. It's those three things usually. So I always tell people when you're doing half square triangles, sew a scant quarter inch and by that you'll see you've got where your seam line is, it's just there. You can see I've gone just into there. I'm not sure if we can get closer on that. 
Paul is zooming in as we talk. Sorry about this, Paul. So you can see you've got that where the black line is. That is your quarter inch. So you're then looking to go one or two threads away to be able to sew that, that when you fold this block open, it's exactly a quarter of an inch, including the fold. So that's what we want to make sure that we're doing. So then once we've done all of that, we line all the blocks up as to how they're meant to be sewn. And then you sew them into blocks of three. So I've already sewn this one together. Um, and the way that I did that is I literally just pop that on top there, lined them up perfectly. You can see they matched perfectly there. And all I do is I now sew down this line over here. Just doing a normal quarter inch seam down there. And then that's going to go there. And then I'm going to sew this block. You can see those two I've just sewn. Now I'm just going to sew that onto there. And then this one I'm going to sew onto here as well. It's because I like my chain piecing. I like my chain piecing. So I line these up brilliant, perfectly there. pulled that off before it had finished cutting the thread. And then what you do is you'll just press those how you want, whether the seam's open or to the dark side. And all you'll do then is you'll sew this one to there and this one to there. Now I would show you that, but I'd like to get onto block four. I want to be able to show you both. I hope that shows you exactly how it is you do blocks two, three and four there. So we're now going to be demo. We've demoed this in the block three of the rainbow colorway. So, but don't forget, we've also got the block three blossom bundle. So this is the one that I demoed in with the white background. Remember, you've got the two and a half meter bundle that you're buying um, for your background. That was the one I've demoed in. But I've also got available the bl uh, blossom. This is the blossom colorway and I've used the cream background for that. It just works so, so beautifully together there. So this is the blossom colorway there. And don't forget for each one that you get, you're going to get the panel. Let me put the panel out for the blossom. The panel out for the blossom. And then the instructions. And that will make oops, that block once you've got your additional background fabric in, in for that. You're going to need two and a half meters in total for your additional background fabric. And those are available on the website as well. And you'll only need to do that purchase once. You won't need to buy that again. Um, if you did want to get the rainbow bundle there, let me remind you what the rainbow looks like here. That's what I was demonstrating in with a white background. That's what our rainbow looks like and you're going to get the wonderful set of instructions available as well. $7.99 for that kit today. And a great thing is you can join it at any time. These fabrics are completely exclusive to Sewing Street. Can't get them anywhere else. So now we're going to do our block four. So our block four is this block that we're going to be making here. And I know I have my block four. There we go. So my block four, we're doing this in the blossom colorway today. So that's the one I'm making there, the blossom. And I'm doing that with a cream background. Um, so the, I'll show you the rainbow panel first for the block four. This is our rainbow. Oh, I think I've got the wrong panel here. I was showing the wrong panel earlier. Apologies for that. They're the same size, just different colors. So this is your block four colorway there for block four, the panel. And you're getting the set of instructions there for the rainbow. And then if you wanted it in the... What have I done with my block four? You know when you put something on a table and you can't find it? 
Probably because it's folded up over here. Sorry, everyone. There we go. So this is now the Blossom colorway. Sorry about that. You know what it's like. You've got a big table full of stuff, lots to think about, and you can't find the one thing you're looking for. Happens to everyone. We've all done it. So there we go. That's your Block 4 Blossom color, uh, uh, panel and the set of instructions as well. Now these, what I've done here is I have cut out everything. Um, for you in advance. You're going to start off with your central square and I'm going to just make sure I keep looking at the block made already. And then you're going to put the two sides on. This is how you will build the block. So you'll first sew these two on <clears throat> and then you're going to sew the top and the bottom on. Then you're going to sew two more sides on. And then you've got top and bottom. <laughs> um, and then you've got your fabrics here. Now each one of these fabrics is numbered not only in the pattern, um, but also on the fabric key. I'll just move these a little bit closer. And then last but not least, we've got these outer pieces over here. Now, one thing just to notice is I cut these the wrong size. This is patchwork. It doesn't matter. And I didn't want to waste fabric. So all I did was the piece that I had left over on that strip. I just sewed it onto the edge. You can't even tell. So if you do make a mistake, remember this is patchwork. The whole point of patchwork is to take fabric, cut it up, and sew it back together. So don't worry about it if you make a mistake. Just literally sew one of your scrap bits on the edge of that to make it be the right size. If you cut it too small, add a little bit on. And then last but not least, you're going to put those on at the top and on at the bottom. And that's what we're going to do. I also then, for each of the blocks that I've got and each of the blocks that I've made, I cut out my um, salvage at the top and the salvage at the top has got fabric 7, 9, 4, 3 and 8. I cut those out because it's always good to have those available, especially when you're cutting your fabrics. I always put that at the top of my cutting mat there so when I get confused and the pattern tells me I want to need fabric 7, I know that I go and I cut fabric 7 and that's what fabric 7 looks like. It just makes your life that little bit easier being able to do it. Now, Quarter of an inch seam is really, really important here. What I would say to you is take some, you've got a lot of selvage left on this, you've got a lot of this lovely white fabric left on the side, take that and practice with it. Cut these strips out and just sew it together in the white to be able to make sure that your quarter inch seam is important and I'll show you why. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the central square and we're sewing these onto the side of it. And you're going to do that on both sides. And the reason I tell you to practice first, I will show you why in just a moment. So I've sewn that now on the right hand side. And then I'm going to sew the other one on the left hand side. And I always tell people when you're doing this block, it's important to practice for two reasons. If you practice and you get it right, then at the beginning two stages, it will flow and be completely correct for the rest of it. Now on this block, unusually for me, I don't press my seams open. I literally just roll this back. I can only, I can't move it anymore. So all I'm doing is I'm rolling the fabric there and I'm just pulling it back and I'm just putting that there. So you can see all I've done is I've rolled it back and I'm just letting the iron do the work for me. Now the reason I'm doing this and it's important to just press them, you can press it how you like, I just find that this is the easiest way and now is the test to know if you've done it correctly because if you've done this correctly this piece here is going to line up perfectly. Now, over here it doesn't, and it's slightly out. And over here 
it's also slightly out. Now that isn't a problem. I'm just telling you the reason that this has gone out is because I purposely made this seam a little bit bigger and I made this seam a little bit bigger as well. And by a little bit, it is literally one thread. But if you look at this, you can tell that one thread on each side, two threads on each side, makes three, four threads over here. So I've got a little bit out. And that's okay, but as you do that throughout the block, your block will come in a lot smaller. So that's why I tell you to practice it, because when you have a piece that's slightly smaller, it just means that you've then got to center it. So you'll see what I'll do is over here, I will center, center that, so I'm one thread too small there and one thread too small there, and I'll put those on top, line that up, and then I will put that through the sewing machine. And the reason this is important is because you just need to make sure that the piece that goes onto the top and bottom, or the left and right, is exactly the right size for your block. Then you know that you've done the piece correctly, your cutting's correct, your seam allowance is correct, and it's important to make sure that it is correct because then your block will come out at the correct size. And if it doesn't come out at the correct size, it's not that big of a uh, problem. It's just nice to know that you've done the best that you can and it is one way of being able to make sure that it is perfect. And I don't want people beating themselves up or unpicking or doing anything like that. Realize why, it, well, why it's wrong. Remeasure everything, check your quarter inch. <clears throat> and once you've done that, um, it's not to criticize, it's to learn. It's for you to practice then and get better on it. And if it's only one or two threads, you can lose that in the seam allowance. And exactly the same as I did before, all I'm doing is I'm rotating the fabric and I'm just then letting the iron do the work for me, doing that nice and comfortably. <clears throat> so now, hopefully, when I put these two together, that is perfect. And that is perfect. And that's what you want. So even though this piece is slightly bigger, it doesn't matter because when I pop that on the top here, you'll see that you've got a tiny little bit sticking out there. Doesn't matter. No one's going to see it. What matters is that this piece needs to fit in between there <clears throat> and work fine. Now over here, you'll see I'm a little bit short. And all I do then is I move my fabric to be in the middle and that'll be fine, it's fixed. I hope that makes sense because this is a very forgiving block. Brilliant. Now I'm not going to have time to finish the whole block for you, but what I've done is I've shown you the technique to do each and every one of these. And each time I'm folding these back, I'm just letting the nose of my iron fold that back ever so gently for me. There we go. <clears throat> and just like I did with the previous two sides, that piece there, oh my goodness, I've now nailed it. That is perfect. And then this one's going to go on here as well. And that one's exactly right as well. So all you're doing now is you're just going to repeat this process all the way around the block. I'll do these as the last two and then show you where we are then. But it's just such a nice block and a really nice way of being able to do something relatively simple, but this is where your accuracy of your cutting and your sewing needs to be really important because it doesn't matter if the block's smaller and if you get it wrong, it doesn't matter, but it's a really nice way. 
sorry, it's a really nice way of being able to show yourself how you've improved and how far you've come. Even from block one, being able to check that your quarter inch seam is improving, your cutting's improving, it's just a nice way to be able to show that you how far you've come on your little quilting journey with us. <clears throat> And with all of these little tips, you get better and better. And it doesn't matter how long you've been sewing for, you'll always learn something new. Somebody will always show you a different way of doing things. Because even this morning, Sally was showing me something and I had never thought of it. So clever, but so simple. So all I'm doing now is I'm setting my seams. I did give it a little squirt of best press just because I love the smell. And then rotating, using my iron, the nose of my iron to get that out. And there we go. <laughs> oh, I've got a little bit of a dip there, but that doesn't matter. <clears throat> and there we go. So that's the whole process. I've done two of them. You've got two, I've done two full rounds. You've got two full rounds to go. And all you're doing every single time you're trying to do this is you're lining these up, checking that they're gonna match. That one matches perfectly. Once you've sewn those on, you then line this one up and they'll match perfectly as well. And you just keep adding on to it every time to make sure that you get the right size when it finishes. And that is what the block's going to look like when it finishes there. So this is the blossom panel, block four. Let me just remind you each of these uh, panels what you're getting. Some of you may not have seen blocks one and two. Um, so let me remind you of how far we've come now. This is our block two. Oh, sorry, this is our block one. Um, this is the rainbow block one when we've done this with a white background there. You might need to have a little look on the website for that. We're having a few technical issues in the background. It happens. Thank you for bearing with us. So this is the rainbow block one pattern. This is the blossom block one pattern. We've done that there with a cream background, but we also wanted to make sure that we made it pop as well with a black background too. Um, so we've got that available there. We also have bundles which have got blocks one to four. So you can have all four of these blocks. So you will need to unfortunately search um, for each of the blocks on their own. Our website's having a little bit of a moment. We can't bring you all of those at the moment. So do check the website. So when I say the website, I mean our little internal thing here. We can't get them up on the screen right now. So check the website, they're all on there. Oh. I misunderstood, the graphics can, oh, sorry, I misunderstood that completely, sorry. The graphics on the screen at the moment are for your Blossoms panel for, let me show you Blossom. There we go. So we've got Blossom, this is now all with a cream background. Remember, you're gonna need to get the cream separately. So that's your block one, that's your block two, that's your block three, and that's your block four. The, the, um, Instru the graphics on your screen at the moment are for the panels and the instructions to make all four of these blocks in the Blossom colorway. Remember, you will need to get a, um, two and a half meters of your background fabric. We've got three different options of background fabric for you. Oh, so on this one, when you need to check out on the bundle, the code that's just there, which is MGXC62, you'll need to type that into your screen. You can get those there. So that was the Blossoms bundle there, one, blocks one to four. We've also got the Rainbow bundle, which you'll also need to type the code in as well. The code there is R for Romeo, S for Sugar, X for X-ray, C for Charlie, four, zero. So these are all on the white background. So that's block one, that's block two, and then we've got block three, and finally we've got block four. So all of those panels, all of the instructions are all available today as a kit, all together for um, £31.96. So that's all available. And you will unfortunately need to type that code in to search for it. The code again is R for Romeo, S for Sierra, X for X-Ray, C for Charlie, 40. So please make sure you check that out. Um, we have got three different colorways. You've seen me do the white colorway with the background of the on the rainbow. We've also got the cream background in our uh, blossom. 
but we've also got black as an option here, which you can see the black just works so vividly there. That's the black we've got on the, I think that was block one, and then this is block two. You can see the black just works so beautifully on there. It's very dramatic. I'm looking forward to doing a lot of quilting in all this black. So those are the block, um, the panels that you can get but you will need to get two and a half meters of your background fabric. We have, that makes all of the background. So you can see over here, everything that you see that's white, that's what you're gonna be able to make with the two and a half meter packs that we've got available. So the white two and a half, um, is that black? Oh, there it is, black, if I read, it would be good. So the black colorway there, this is what the black is going to be. You'll get two and a half meters of that. That's 17 pounds 45 for the black. We've also got the cream. So the cream, two and a half meters, also 17 pounds 45. If you want to see what the quilt looks like for the, um, with the cream, we've, done a, we've got the blossom quilt uh, made in the cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick that there. Hopefully I've got this the right way around. I don't. <clears throat> so you can see that is, so you can see this is what the cream looks like. And you can see the background there on the whole quilt, but it just, it works so well on the white, really well on the cream. But I have to say, I think the black is my favorite. Um, and then last but not least is our white background and the white background as well. Also two and a half meters, 17 pounds 45 for that as well. And you can see we've used the white background for the rainbow quilt that's hanging up behind me. Um, so you can see this is the white background that we've got in the rainbow colorway. So all three colorways work very, very well. Um, it's such a good price for the fabric as well. So even if you just need some white fabric or black fabric or cream fabric, it's a really great bundle there. So do check out on that. If you have got everything in your basket, please make sure you check out. We've got, oh, we've got back, Best Press back in. I adore Best Press. You're going to see a lot of that in the next hour with Sally. Um, Best Press, one of the most beautiful products to use. This one is the lavender vanilla uh, fragrant one. Um, it's one millimeter short of half a liter, £11.99. It is such a fabulous product. We're going to talk more about that in our next hour with Sally. But I'm so pleased we got this back in stock. It's really fabulous. Now, speaking of what's coming up, we've got Sally up in an hour, uh, next, but at our 11 o'clock hour, don't forget to have a look on the website for these beautiful owls. They are so adorable, really, really good. And I asked at the eight o'clock hour, anybody who's got any fleece uses, what you use your fleece to, to drop us a message, because we've got some beautiful, beautiful fleeces coming in. Oh, we've had some message in from Susan. Morning. She uses hers to make teddy bears. That's such a good idea. And the great thing is this is an anti-pill um, fleece as well. So it won't pull as you use it for the teddy bears. What a clever idea. Do keep those messages coming through. Easiest way of being able to get in touch with us is studio at sewingstreet.com. Failing which our Sewing Street TV Facebook page. Drop us a message from there. We look forward to hearing from you. We're going to get Sally back on now for our Creative Grids Hour. We'll be back in a moment. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, 
not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice cut once and anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon thank you Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Faye and I'm going to be joining the Sewing Street team as one of their guest designers. Uh, I work as a professional dressmaker. You can see here you've caught me in the middle of making a petticoat for a wedding dress here in my workroom in North Yorkshire. Uh, I started off in fashion design, studied that at college and then I actually made the move into costume. So I've actually spent several years making costumes, uh, quite high-end costumes for both television and theatre. So hopefully with that professional experience, I'm best placed to give you some advice on how to get the best results with your sewing and to show you some really interesting techniques. Uh, so it would be great if you could join us for that if you're an avid dressmaker and I look forward to seeing you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides, suitable for all skill levels, to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. And we're back. Sally Stevens is going to be showing us two fabulous creative grid rulers. But I'm going to first remind you, in case you're just joining us, we have got the most wonderful, wonderful early bird for you today. We've got 36 skeins of embroidery floss. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quality and such vibrant colours. Uh, you're getting eight metres of each of these. There are six strands in each one of these um, skeins and they're working out at 22 pounds a skein. But look at these, sorry, 22 pence a skein. Gosh, I was thinking I heard in my ear, pounds! <laughs> sorry. Heads. It's been a very busy morning. I'm so sorry. So these work out at 22 pence um, a, a skein. I'm sure management would love us to be getting 22 pounds a skein, but that's not going to happen. But what I love about these is the variation of colours. And with this variegation, you can see, I'm just going to undo this and pull it out. You can see just, it's that subtle variation going from that beautiful deep pink and then it varies out into this lovely, lovely light colour. And you can see the variation of colours is so gorgeous. And that's just the pink one. We've got 36 different colours here, all beautiful, all working so, so well. 
These have all worked very well this morning with Sally's demonstration with the kimono, as well as with the um, block of the week. All of these are going to work really, really well. You would be so, so lucky to have that. So make sure you do check out on your early bird. Don't want you to miss out. This is only available for today um, or while stocks last. So we don't want you to miss out on that. If it is in your basket, make sure you check out. You've got that one day PNP all available for you. You can check out as many times as you like all the way through. Now, the reason we've got the lovely Sally in for this hour are two fabulous, fabulous rulers. I'm not sure which order she's going to do them in, but we're going to start off with a wonderful hexagon trim tool ruler. I will not deny, I think this is one of my favourite um, of the gorgeous Creative Grids rulers. It's definitely the one that I absolutely adore using and it's really good fun. And there are loads of different ways of being able to use it. So first of all, you're getting the wonderful ruler, but don't forget with Creative Grids, you get these set of instructions that go with it. And if I open that up, you can see all these incredible instructions and the different ways of being able to make a quilt and put it together and different um, setting tools. It shows you absolutely every single way of being able to use this ruler. It is brilliant. I, it is my favorite ruler from Creative Grid, so I'm very, very pleased with that. But we've also got one that I've not seen before and I'm looking forward to Sally showing us this ruler. This is called the Stripey Stars Ruler. And again, is it stripy or strippy? Strippy, sorry, my, thick, my South African education, sorry about that. Uh, we've got the wonderful pamphlet as well. And that then tells you exactly how best to use the ruler. And if I can do this with, you can see you've got a wonderful set of instructions there with loads of pictures. And I love this, um, the Creative Grid um descriptions on how best to use them because they give you such good pictures and they're really easy to understand. Loads of detail, lots of different ways of being able to make these. And then you've got the wonderful ruler as well. That's available for £21.99 today. And it's a lovely little ruler. You might not be able to, there we go. Lovely, lovely ruler that. But you can't have a ruler without some fabric. I keep looking at these owls at 11 o'clock. I'm sorry, I've got to stop. So we're going to start off with our lovely pink stars. What have we called this bundle? Look at that. I love, I think this is a raspberry color here. Pink stars, just called pink stars. You're getting a half meter of each. Let me remind you what you get, what a half meter looks like. lovely amount of fabric there and it's a lovely color as well so this is the creative grids pink star fabric bundle is it pomegranate i thought it was raspberry these colors are so similar but it's a lovely set of fabric to be able to just play with and look how beautiful they go together this is only available to you today for 6.99 that's such a good price for a meter of fabric that's beautiful love that so that's the pink fabric next we've got the blue stripes um, oh, I love this top one. Ooh, and I've got so much of the bottom peacock one. I'm just going to open this up because it's so beautiful. Look at that. You see, I'm just looking at this and thinking pajamas. Look at that. This is available by the half meter as well. What have we called it? Cool. There we go. Blue stripes by on white pot cotton poplin. Can't go wrong with that. Beautiful fabric that. Um, so you're getting a half meter of the blue stripes. You're getting a half a meter. Is it the peacock? Sky, not peacock. Sky. They're very similar. So I don't have lots of the sky. I've got lots of the peacock. So you've got the peacock. Uh, this. Oh, I'm getting this so wrong today. The sky is a half meter, and you've got the blue stripes there. Also six ninety nine. Are you sure these prices are right? That's such a good price. Then we've got our purple bundle here. So this is called the purple strippy star, but you don't need to use it for the strippy star. You can use it for anything. That cannot be right. That price can't be right. £6.49. That is such a good deal there. Well, you know, we pay charge £3.49 per unit there. And it's purple. Can't go wrong with that. Next, we've got our lovely orange color combination there. So this is also the Strippy Star Orange Collection. This is peach and hot tomato, if I'm not mistaken. $6.49 for that meter there. Peach and hot tomato. Half a meter of each. And that's $6.99. Uh, $6.49. Definitely got the good price then. Now this one, randomly, we're not quite sure why, but it is called the Wedding Ring Ruler Bundle. 
Um, bit of an odd name, but there we go. That's what we called it. But don't feel, don't hold back. It's such a great price. And look at these fabrics. They're beautiful. You're getting a mode, two motors. You're getting two poplins. You've got a star and a solid. And that's now going to be called the Wedding Ring uh, Ruler Fabric Bundle. So you're getting three meters of fabric there for $39.99. It's this... Oh, they've changed it. Right, sorry, yes. We had a bit of a problem. It was called Wedding Ring earlier. We're not quite sure because, yes, anyway, is what it is. These things happen. Now it's called the Creative Grid Mode of Fabric Bundle. $29.99 there, a half meter of each one of those. Let me show you these in more detail. Look at that. It is so beautiful. So this is your motor fabric here. And then there's another motor there. You're getting a half meter of each of those. Don't they, don't they look so good? So those are your two motor fabrics there. Then you're getting your stars here by Rose and Hubble. And you're getting your beautiful, I don't know if we're calling that peach or pink. It's beautiful. It's like a salmon color there. Star, um, spots on salmon. And then we've got this lovely yellow star. Oh gosh, I got that one right as well. Yellow star. And then you're getting half a meter of the lime green. And that's then your three meters there. Six different fabrics, two motor, three rows and hubble, and some beautiful solids. And I'm going to try and figure a way of showing this to you where you can see them all. There we go. And that's going to be $29.99. Lovely, lovely color there. Great fabrics. And this is what Sally's going to be demonstrating your hexagon ruler in. I'm looking forward to that. So if you just now would like to have a little look at the video we're about to show you now, we're going to get Sally on back in a moment. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. Sally Stevens is back Hello, with guys. us and you've got lots to show us. I'm so excited. Lots oh, to play it's brilliant. with. Brilliant. So this hexagon ruler, I absolutely love it. I have to, it's the only ruler I've ever had where I sat down and I literally could not stop. And before I looked, I had about 15, 20 blocks. Yeah. Isn't it brilliant? It's great fun. And you can make hexagons of different sizes from two inches up to eight inches yes. across. Um, and so you've got two inch, four inch, six inch and eight inch. You've got your quarter inch seam allowance built in. They are um, perfect for machine, creating a machine pieced hexagon quilt, which if, uh, if you want to, things to happen a bit on the quick side, <laughs> then that's the way to go about it. That'll be me. So <laughs> that'll definitely be me. So we can demonstrate this one first, but just to talk you through the rule a little bit. Um, this is your two inch hexagon, this the four, this the six, and then the outside is the eight inch. So to start with, you need to cut strips that you can then put on the ruler onto to, to cut your hexagons. You've also got dotted lines that you'll see as we go along, help you to align everything, make sure everything's nice and straight. And you've also got built in um, for setting in your hexagons, you've also got triangles and half hexagons. It's very cleverly done. It, there's lots you can do with it. Can I tell you one extra thing? I don't know if you realise this, because mm -hmm. I, I, I had a class with us this week. Uh -huh. You see the corners, yep. on the very corners, you've got the hole. 
Yes. For the Y seam. That's right. I and didn't I... realise that. Now I'm thinking yeah. how genius yes. that they've literally got. I'm just reaching for my ruler over here. Every one of these rulers over here have a little dot in the corners. Yeah. And I'm hoping, maybe you can point to yours there yeah. and the ball can get to you. So the, um, the ruler has little dots placed at various intervals around at the corners. You might need to pop place. your finger underneath one of the corners to okay. show the dots. Let's put something. Oh, there we go. Does that help at all? Perfect. There you go. But they were so clever because one of the ladies, when she was doing her way, she was a, she was pro at it, and she just said, "Oh," and I was saying, "Draw your lines," and because I've always done it with the drawing the line method, oh. and she said, "Oh, you don't need to, just do this." No, and I was, that's right. Yeah, well, these rulers are well thought out. You know, very clever. <laughs> um, and and just to show you an example with the actual fabric, so if you wanted to join a row of of hexagons, uh, you would then have. Let me just shut a few join together. No, I need a bigger one. Let's, we'll go with this. So you want to join your hexagons together and then you will need, at the end of your quilt, a straight line. So these are the setting in half hexagons and you will also have a triangle to go um, at the end as well. And the little dots are marked on the fabric. Right way around. Put your dots on the four points. Very clever. Same on the back of the actual large hexagon. And then when you come to join, which we can do later, those dots are where you match up your hexagons. And when you're joining your hexagons too, and you can pin at those points. And when you open it out, you've got... And you've got that perfect Y seam ready yep. to go and you don't ever so nice pass the line. dots. That's right. It's, pr it's yeah, so clever. Right. It's very helpful. It's very helpful. Because you can do it by eye, but um, they never come out to the same. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so I just, I've got a couple of pictures to share. Um, I had a lovely lady on the class this week called... Um, this is from Jeanette Gustafson. She has the Tilda apple butter that we sell here. And she's bought, oh, um, her husband may be listening. She got given by a mystery donor <laughs> a pack of the Tilda Milton. <laughs> she might have that? two. Um, she ended up making this, that quilt there, where you can see she's cut the hexagons out. And then just in, where you've got different colours all the way around. If I expand that a little bit you can see each one. She's used that statement fabric in the middle, then done a, uh, a, also the Tilda, butter, the Tilda apple butter in the, the next round, and then in the round after that. And you can see for the red as well, she did the same. And it was so clever, such a beautiful way of being able to use that ruler. But I won't deny, I think my friend Letitia, um, I can never pronounce your surname, Letitia, Jibier, I apologise, that's totally wrong. Letitia, she and I were on the Kirsty's Homemade Christmas Makes together. Oh, yes. She did this incredible block. So she made this one to start with, which is quite a traditional, quite a traditional block there. Um, but she then did that. And that, I've just, now I've made probably a hundred blocks out of this ruler and I'd never even thought of that. We can have a go. And she it. only hand sews. Oh, right. She okay. only hand sews. So all okay. of her blocks were made by hand. Okay. But it's just such a clever way of being yeah. able to use the ruler, yeah. which I love because I think if you buy the ruler, you've got the videos, but then if you go and search and see what other people have done as well, I oh, think that's it's right. genius. Yes. Yeah, and that's something to mention actually on the um, template itself. There is the QR code, which if you can scan that in, if you've got a smartphone, it will take you straight to the demo yes. on the Creative Grids um, site. So that's always handy. And you can, if you should lose your instructions, download another set from there as well. But the other thing is, if you just type in Creative Grids Hexagon Trim Tool on YouTube, you will be you, very yeah, intrigued. Yeah, absolutely. And you can watch this one back and get Sally doing it. <laughs> More than one of me. <laughs> So we've talked about the ruler and these are the hexagon sizes that you will be able to cut from the ruler. I love the fact you've done those as inverse colours. Yes. That's brilliant. They just look so nice, don't they? They do, don't they? go they? so well together. But that's so great about the, the colour combinations here. They work so well together. They do, they do. And I mean, I've got a complete rainbow of them all here, so feel free to mix and match. They, they, they all seem to go well together. They're very bright, very... Uh, very cheerful 
and that's what we need. It is very happy, these cows, Yes, aren't they, they are, they are. So those are the sizes, 2 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch and 8 inch. And you can, of course, just cut out your, your plain hexagons oh. and join those together. That's not a problem. In fact, this size, maybe for a coaster, and the larger size, perhaps for a, a little placemat. So I just very quickly oh, wow. made a couple of very, very quick samples. That's one which I just put a backing on. Did you use the same size hexagon from the ruler? Uh, th that's the eight inch. The eight inch from the so back. So that's the eight inch. And it's finished with the seam yes. lines obviously taken in. So that's that one. And this one, I just bond webbed several hexagons on top of each other and just did a quick so bit of clever. flat and stitch. So it's uh, not too posh, very quick, but it happened in a few minutes and great, great they fun. They work very well. And a nice little as gifts well. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And in Christmas fabrics, you could do those too. <laughs> Santa yeah. is coming. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So. As well as the plain hexagons, um, we, we can make these patterned ones, and I'll, I'll go into a demonstration of how we do those. So this is an example of fairly standard, as shown on the ruler, with several rows. There you go. That's, that's what we're looking at. This one in the middle is what these are here. And we'll make one of the slightly more detailed ones as well. And I also wanted to show you, talking about these half hexagons, that you can just make a panel with those. So I did a little, dip, <gasps> little one of oh, those. Oh, brilliant. So, for example, if you just... Oh, Sally, that's use wonderful. Use half hexagons. And I love the fact you've done the um, setting triangles. Yes, so I did the halves. setting triangles, yes, which we can, you know, we can obviously demonstrate. That is very clever. So that's just made up of these half hexagons and um, the setting triangles. And again, that's a nice little... Now, when you sew those together, did you put the, um, the hexagons together side by side and then sew the rows together? Yeah, so you put... You were just trying to avoid the Y seam, weren't you? Well, there's no need if you don't need, <laughs> is there, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, so I would sew them together on the diagonal yes. in a row and then, and then join the rows because row then you're just joining straight lines. Perfect. Yeah, why not? If you can make life easy for yourself. I totally am completely on board with that. <laughs> so that's a bit of fun. That's wonderful. I'd never thought of that because that would also look quite good as a border for this. Yes, you, you could do it as a border. A in the middle. You could have all of this row in one colour and all of this row in one colour. There's all sorts of things. <gasps> you could do a rainbow and have a light, yep. dark, light, dark. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like yep. it. So there's lots of little um, little things you can do there. So I thought that was a nice one to show. And this is another example of the hexagon with just a single row. And like the lady that showed the fancy yes. one, this is how we do it. This has a um, set-in seam, a Y seam, but we will show you how to do that. It's very easy. It is very easy. Brilliant. Okay, right. So let's get going. Off you go. Because I want to leave time for the strippy Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. I'm watching well. the clock. <laughs> so we've got about do... 13 minutes. Okay. Gosh, we are going to have to move <laughs> at speed here, aren't we? Right. So what we need is a centre hexagon. Start with a small one, a two-inch one. And then the strips, that the instructions tell you what size the strip should be. I think they're pretty much all... One They're and three quarter inch width. I did two inches just because I was a little nervous. I'd rather waste oh, a quarter right. of an inch. Oh, well, it was plenty because you yeah, still chim, chim, chim some off. And then the little um, shorter oh, ones, I think, are, are three inches. inches. Are they two inches First or three inches? First one's two inches by three and a half. Okay. I will double check. I will double check. Because <laughs> you pinched <laughs> my instructions. <laughs> yes, um, two, two inches... By one and three quarters, and then four and a half for the light. Okay. So for the first round, we need three. Three of the little ones. Two inch strips. And and how many of the four Dark inch strips? Dark is four and a half. Right. So 
so I'll cut a pile of those, save a bit of time. Well, that's what I loved about that as well. You can just cut a whole a slew of them. Yeah, and you can cut them a little bit longer. It doesn't matter. You, you know, you waste a tiny amount, but not much. So we need to go to the machine and with a quarter inch seam on, which we've already got set up, place, I don't know if you can see, they place the strip on one edge. This will be right sides together if they're pattern fabric. And stitch. And then we miss a side. And no, sew a piece see that on that side. So Do you want to bring it into the Bring it into the middle. So we've sewn a piece, a strip on one side. We fold that back and we will press it. Then we miss this side and we go here. So the next strip will go on there. Perfect. Okay, so I'll sew the next two on, same principle for the third one. Breakneck speed here. <laughs> <laughs> we will always make time for you, you don't have to worry. Well, you could do the whole hour just with this you one really ruler, could. you know. Um, I've demonstrated the strippy style one before and that was a complete... Oh, they're brilliant. A complete hour. So, quick press. I'm not sure if I left the iron on. I'll put it on. Oh, good. Yeah. And there's best press just next to you. Yeah, best press. I, I love. I, I, I use a lot. It as well. Oh, thank I you. I anti it, it beforehand. <laughs> Got to do the best we can. <laughs> yes, I know. We're, we're all being very careful we're and doing very the best sensible. We can. Yeah, absolutely. And managing really well, I think. Everyone's doing good. Doing a good job. So there we go. I set the seams first and then I've pressed and I've pressed the seams out. I found that it just seems so to sit I. better that way. Okay. I do think with this block it does work a lot better pressing everything flat. It seems to. It seems to, yeah. You don't get bulk with it at all. So we'll do the second set of strips. Oh, you don't trim first. No. You don't get okay. No, you don't have to trim them at all. I'll show you what I but that's did. It, but you don't at all, you're quite right. Yeah, you don't need to trim them at all. But, I mean, you can if you want to. I always trim them. But it does make the block take twice as long. Well, for these purposes of the demo, I won't trim them well, because one of, the of time, my, but yeah. One thing you've just done there, that is definitely my top tip on that. Fold all your pieces out. So yeah, you and I would press, a, press, well, a, course, a, a, you know, press as I go, but... Um, we're a little bit short for time for that. So. I love that half hexy quilt you've made. I think it's just my mind real, is just blown. I think it's so clever. Real, real fun. I'm wondering if the setting triangles would look good as well. Oh, almost certainly yes. I just well, there are only so many in. hours in one yeah, day, aren't there? That's right. We've got to make a quilt as well, and. You know. <laughs> I love it though. It is good. I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to press this again. I'm going to do it very, very quickly. But it definitely yeah. works a lot better pressing everything out. It does, and I do like um, the best press because if you've got a bit of a crease in there, which I have, it really does help to, to fetch it out. It really works well. Yeah, that's great. Look at that. So that's the first round. That's what's called the first round. So the second round, three inches for the light, five. Well, we've and got half. to trim it. We've got yes. to trim it at Sorry. this stage. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So we need to trim it, and on the ruler, if we go back over, let's, like let's, to let's the, make some. Space. If you'd like to use the rotating cutting mat, I haven't touched it. <laughs> Thank you. That does help as well. So on the ruler again, as I've mentioned, we've got hexagons marked. We've also got these, round one, round two, round three. There's a white, a dotted line, and a solid black line. These little hexagons in here. Can you see those three? Yep. White one, dotted line one, and a black one. Okay. So we place, I mean, this is all in the instructions, but we place the, the white 
hexagon. You can see I've, my seams are a bit wonky because I've been so quick. But we place the white hexagon over the centre there. And then we can trim. Even with my dodgy wrists. You're doing very well. <laughs> and turn. So you just trim two sides at a time. I do that every aligning. time. You've got the rotating cutting mat. And I've, and I know, I know. Really do it every it's, time. It's, <laughs> and it, that would really help my wrist, wouldn't it, to have done that? But yes, look, it will I go around. you've missed one side. Uh, have I missed one side? Okay. I think it's because I've sewn it a bit wonky. That's all right. Perfect. You take your time, you'll be more accurate. But it's such a lovely block. So that's the first round, and then you continue for, you see that's the first round there. Wonky, but yeah. <laughs> I'm it's, good at doing wonky ruler unique. demos. It's yeah, unique. it always works fine when you're at home, and then yeah, on on, it on looks the TV. Lovely. So then, in we add another round in the same way, and a third round in the same way. No, it's beautiful. You've done really well. Okay. Um, have we got time to do the set in one? Of course. Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. So this just has a single round. We start with. So That's I start with. We started with the uh, six inch, didn't we? Start with a six inch. Excuse go. me while I just there we go. fiddle about with these. So we start with a six inch one. Prove the point. <laughs> <laughs> six inch one. And we're going to sew our strips on. So I've got some strips here that are just roughly cut. Now with this, we need to do a partial seam, not a Y seam, a partial seam. So we only need to sew half of this strip here. So I'll do that. And this is just approximately half. Oh, you do a back stitch at the end of that as well. Yeah, just, it does make it. just yes. So that's the first little bit sewn with that part of it just left open. Again, I'm just going to finger press this. I've got a little roll. No, you're one. not using our wonderful roll and yeah, press, is it? But this yeah. is your own roll and press. It is. It's got her name on it. <laughs> Everything's got my name on it. <laughs> but it is one of those kit things you buy in your kit and you've always got it. Yes, that's right. So let's pick another strip. The, the, the colours here are really a bit weird, but uh, I will. <laughs> great. I like a bit of fun. It's got to be done. So now we're going to sew the second one. And that's on the side where the stitching is, not the size where the, the, the little the loose flap is left. Second strip sewn on. Now we're going to go for a third one. Again, just roller pressing this. We're going to sew the third one on. So these strips are far too long, but uh, the instructions do tell you which which lengths to cut. So I'll sew that one on. orange one on next. It's way too big but it 
Don't worry. I think these colours are working really well. <laughs> You're mixing and matching our bundles beautifully. Well, it shows the effect you can create. And the thing is, at that price, I still, I'm I still sure they're wrong, but that's such a great price. It's the sort of price, you know, for, from my point of view, you feel you can play. Yes, You know exactly. You can play. But it's the... such great quality fabric as yeah. well. Oh, yes. Oh, it is. I think the, the this these are Rose and Hubble. They are, yeah. yeah. yeah very nice. I, I have to say, I'm very, very taken with this blue and white stripe. I like the blue and white stripe, yeah. And again, you could do effects with it directional, mm. uh, horizontal or vertical. I'm on, a, I'm on a crusade at the moment to catalogue all my UFOs. No! <laughs> <laughs> so I've got little bags for every UFO now. Is that where I've started making little bags for everyone? But I'm just looking at that fabric. I have far too many UFOs. <laughs> Okay, so now, can you see that we've created all the, the rounds, the, all the strips for the round, but this one is now loose. So we fold that back. You can pin if you like. As I say, I don't tend to be a pinner. Back to the machine, and then we finish that seam. And like magic, we hope, they have all interlocked. So you've created That's a swirl really effect. really lovely. And then as the lady that uh, showed the picture, then you would do another round of um, the orange, the lilac, and the cream. And you'd start to create that, create that swirl. That swirl. It's very clever, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And that then of course she's really it. clever. She knows exactly what she's doing, but she does everything by hand. But you could sew them together by exactly. hand. Exactly. And then trimming these is just simply lining the ruler up. Yes. Yeah, so now this is where the dotted lines come in. So you've got your six-inch hexagon dotted line there. So if you don't move anything yet and just leave it there, okay. Paul can get in. Yeah. If you point that dotted line out again. Yeah. So that's. This one here. The dark line is what the cutting line. The original. This cutting. now is the seam line. Sorry, this one. I beg your pardon. Six inch one. So it frames the hexagon. So it frames the hexagon in the centre. Yeah. It's that Brilliant. Thing. So we've placed that down. And like all um, creative grids rulers, they move about until you press them down and then the grip effect keeps them in place. I'm struggling slightly with a dodgy wrist, but no, you, do, uh, we'll, you don't we'll have do to trim it, darling, honestly. No, that's fine. Right. I want to do the job properly. <laughs> I will use the turning mat look. <laughs> I don't like being told off. You're not going to get told off. No one's telling you all. <laughs> we just want you to look after your wrists. Ah, oh, yes. I've been following you on social media and it's just, I, my heart goes out to you with them. Yeah. When I'm wearing the wrist supports, I look like Robocop. <laughs> You can be Robo Quilter, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> so there oh, you so go. Oh, that's lovely. Pop it down on there, brilliant. That looks so good. Okay. Very, very clever. Thank you so much. So we've got lots of examples of the hexagons here, but I think we need to move on to the strippy, strippy star I think next. If, you've got to, if you don't mind, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. That was beautiful. They're really lovely ruler, that. It is a lovely ruler, and... and there's lots more still you can do. We haven't done the setting things, but I did show you those yes. earlier on. And you can do these setting triangles as well, either in one fabric or as I've done. I just in joined two. two and, and so you can create lots of lovely effects. Plenty of things you can do. But that's what I love about rulers like this, is you've got so many different options and ways to yeah, use them. Yeah. And, you know, if it's not in the instructions and you come up with an idea or you think, oh, I'd like to have a go with that, why not? Yeah. I thought, actually, with spending a bit more time, I could make diamonds and, and things out of it as well. Ooh. So there you go. Ooh, there we go. That'll be our next one. But now we've got the, stri the strippy tool. The yes, strippy and I think star. you've got that. It's right there. Thank you. All anti-backed yes, in the break for you. Yes, we're all anti-backed. We, we have to be good. So this is the Strippy Stars ruler. It does little stars from one inch finished up to three inch, uh, up to four inch, four and a half inch finished, in fact, yes. So this is one half of the ruler and this is another half. So you do the smaller ones with this side and the larger ones with that side. Perfect. And what we're going to create, and I made these in a previous demo, so that's why there's some slightly different fabrics. 
what we are creating. Oh, wow. Is that? Oh, that's really fun. Just with this little... That's lovely. Lovely little ruler. This is almost one of my favourites. Oh, really? And, well, yeah, because it's small and yet it does a lot. And it's easy to store. It's very easy to use. And I just think it's brilliant. Wonderful. One of my favourites. So, I'll move that out of the way. When we're making, oh, in fact, I'll just show you some more examples. Like. Oh my goodness, they're very yeah. good. Yeah. And if you want to get really carried away, that's the largest size oh, you can wow. do. Wow. And you can even put oh, that's one just inside showing another. Off. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> So there you go. So you could do it with a solid centre. Oh, that's brilliant. Or you can set them in. So the smallest size you could do this in, did you say it was one inch? From from um, one inch, let me just double check on the ruler. Oh, no, sorry, this, this, this is the, the, the block sizes are much bigger than that. Sorry, these are the strip sizes. The block sizes go from the smallest block size would be three and a half inches. Wow. And the largest is 14 inches. Gosh, that's a good size. And most of the ones I've done here are the 12 and a half inches, which is why I've marked the uh, That's what the most people use there. anyway. Because it? then it finishes a 12 inch block. But yeah, so they're, they're really, they're really cute. So I just lovely. love them. I just love them. And you can play again with this to your heart's I content. love that one where you put that in the middle. Yeah. That is so yeah. clever. And of course you could um, put them in the corners as well or instead of. Oh, you're just showing off now. Yeah. That would be brilliant. And depending on how you, you measure them, you could have a block that size and then you know two exactly. side by side so you can create really quite a fancy quilt oh i like this and again on the uh instructions you will be able to go with the qr code to the website and see a demo where the lady's got a beautiful quilt behind her with all the different um stars wow. arranged beautifully so it's called strippy stars because it's made simply with squares and strips and for each block, we need, in this instance, let's say, I'll do perfect those, and you know we could have one in the centre, and then you need your contrast fabric, and what we are going to be creating then is that effect. Right. Which would slot in there. So let me find a nice big strip of fabric we can cut with. So I'm going to do these in pink and the pale blue. Perfect. What did we call it? Sky? It's sky. I wish the sky was that colour. <laughs> <laughs> it was very foggy coming in this morning. <laughs> so the instructions say what size strip to cut. So I'm going to do a 12 and a half inch block, finishes at 12 inches. So I've cut four and a half inches square and I need a two and a half inch strip. Cut your strips as long as you can, but as long as you can cut at least two out, you can just cut more strips. So on the back of your fabric, you then take your strippy star ruler. Give Paul a moment, he's zooming in. There we go. And we're doing a four inch finished square. So four and a half inches is this square that we've cut here and a two and a half inch strip. So as well as being on the instructions, it's written on the ruler. And we need a pencil, which I thought I had. Um, I think there's one just there. I've, I got, have... I've got another one. Right I've got Perfect. There we go. So four inch line, line up on the square and you draw with a pencil or any marker. Friction pen or anything like that. Um, not, oh, if, not, not if it will iron it, off. It'll iron off. Of yeah, so it doesn't need to be an iron. It shouldn't iron off. Um, so you can use a pen, a pencil, whatever you like. I tend to use a pencil just because mm. it's fairly it sharp works. and fairly easy. And you'll notice at the top of the block, the point doesn't go right to the edge of the fabric. And the same at the sides here. And this is what helps to create the floating star effect, which we go back to this to look at this block here you'll see that your points are, are a good half inch from the edge of the fabric so when you join your blocks together you never have to worry about 
your points matching. Perfect. It's just so clever. <laughs> I love easy things. So we create, we, we draw on the back of all these. And then we start by placing a square with the first side. This is the pointing towards you for the mm -hmm. first step with that first side lined up about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the strip. Again, right sides together if you're using printed fabrics. And I don't need the quarter inch on that. And I'd sew right off the edge of the square. So you've sewn your first seam. Now, given you've got bias on that, would you best yeah. press anything? Yeah, I would best press... When I'm at, at working at my studio, I best press every seam I sew, which part might sound a little bit... Oops. Might sound a little bit um, extravagant, but I don't think it is because it lasts for ages. It really does. And it makes such a difference. Especially I've used a lot there bottles. as well. You know, I've used probably a bit too much. but it's uh, never too much. Because the good thing is it just seeps into your ironing board then, and your ironing board, when you haven't used smell. it, you can still smell it. Yes. That's the and lavender I do find that even the next piece you come along and you press on it, your fabric's a little bit... It's got the best press in it as well, then. Yes, it has, because um, one of my ironing boards has a sort of metallic surface to it, and um, so it does seem to leave... You know, re it renews it. Brilliant. So, and you'd continue then, same thing, all down the strip. Then... When we come to the next stage, I just want to double check I'm doing this right, because I haven't done one for a little while. So we'll have all our squares trimmed down. Then I need to trim my part. I think I've missed a step here and I'm wondering what I'm doing. No, that looks right. That looks right. But you use the... I trim that off. Trim that bit off. Yeah. There are rulers here if you need. I did have a ruler. There you there go. go. I love the way I'm pointing out that you have your own ruler under the counter. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm making, making sure I've done this right. I'm not sure I've done that but right. You have. Yeah. So I trim that bit off. I'm going to leave it on. I've got to trim it off. <laughs> I'm sorry no, that about this. That's exactly like I'm the making... picture. No, that yeah, exactly that's right. like the picture. But then I've got to trim it off. So you rotate press it, it off. You, you're holding rotate it. it. So if you rotate it 90 degrees, another 90. <laughs> that's there. You're at this point. You've only sewn this bit on here. So you're, yep, you're so at this point here. So you're trimming. On. You're squaring your fabric up here. Yep. So if you square your fabric there. At this point? Oh, no, no. Follow the pink line. Oh, I am really making it. There, there you go. Follow that line. I'm really making it. No, you're doing you're doing great. Sorry about this. Here we go. Okay. Do you know what's so lovely is I've got the lovely Hannah in my ear every time I have a moment where I can't remember, and she guides me through it as well. It's absolutely fine. And now you square the block up, so you've got your three sides there. So I thought you square I, that to four and a half. Because inches. I thought, um, I, as I demoed this only fairly recently, <clears throat> you're doing great. There you go. <laughs> That's what you were looking for. <laughs> That's what we're trying to achieve. For some reason, I thought my point should be pink, but it isn't. It, it will it? be. Uh, no, the points will be, be blue. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, sorry it depends how that. you look at it because effectively your point of the pink triangle will meet at the blue. Yes. So I should have trimmed that off there because that's going to be underneath. It really is very clear in the instructions. Just. Don't mind me. But okay. nobody's going to be doing it live on telly no. <laughs> with lots of pressure going on and me rabbiting on trying to talk to you and entertain people at the same time. I do prepare, really, I do. You're doing great. So the next step then, we get, get back on track, is the first time we sewed it with the point towards us. Now with a strip the same size, we sew it with the point away from us. And back to the sewing machine. As I say, you can chain piece these, you know, one after another, so you've got them all, all done. I'm going to trim off. 
Well, I love the fact that the demo, the the instructions have actually said chain piece. Yes, they do. They're very clever. And that just means sewing one after another, after another. After another, Um, after another, after another. Yeah, so so that you, you know, it's just quicker. But it, is, it does look like one of those rulers you become incredibly addicted to. Yes. I do know how to use a ruler. You do, of course you do. I did make all these. I didn't have a helper. <laughs> Press that back. You've got about seven minutes left. Okay, oh, we're doing all right. So, back to where I'm at. And we just square that up to the four and a half inches again. ear left on there. Always trim my little ears off. And you have <laughs> that looks fabulous. What we intended. <laughs> that looks brilliant. Nice. So that then would get sewn next to the squares to make we've got time. To make the top row, okay. So I'll sew a couple together. We've got about six minutes left. Okay, decks. Oh, and when we come to sew, say that's the centre one that I'm sewing it to there. When we're joining that, you can see that there is a quarter inch mm-hmm. left over there. So we put those two together, and you'll be able to see. Uh, on the overhead where that, that crosses over, where I've stitched Perfect. it. So that's the line you're going for. If you've got your quarter inch on, even better. So as you're sewing, make sure that you're crossing that point there. Perfect. So that when you open it out, you've got a lovely, neat, neat point there. Wonderful. Okay. So that's how you would do centre part. For the Just lie flat on the table. There. Brilliant. Okay. So we'll go. Do you want me to do another strip and try and get it yeah. right this time? You were right the last time. You've got about four <laughs> minutes left. Okay. So, four and a half inch square. Put your ruler on the mark. Do you want to do a ditty one? I can do a ditty one. Do a tiny one, because I'm thinking the fo- that would be quite fun. Being able to so, we'd need, one. we need a smaller square, which would be, so a tiny one is a one and a half inch square. Oh, my goodness. What? That's quite tiny, isn't it? Let's do bigger than that. Let's do two inches. Two inches, okay. So that'll be a five inch square. Two inches. Yeah, that's two inches. Okie dokes. So there's a two inch square. Oh, wow, that really is ditty. Well, yeah, and the one and a half inch, you know, be even <laughs> smaller. <laughs> no pressure. So we use <laughs> this end of the ruler for, for the smaller ones. And Paul's on his way. Okay. Gosh, so they are ditty. One and a half inch. You can say no. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to say no. I'm going to draw my little pyramid on there. And again, it doesn't go right to the end. And there's already a little bit built in at the sides. Again, for your seams. So we'd need a, a thinner strip, so it's a, where are we? One and a half. One and a half inch strip. It doesn't really matter because you could use a two and a half, couldn't you? you just oh yes, you just trim it, trim it off. In the very professional ways I did before. <laughs> <laughs> so let's make a one and a half inch strip. Okay, so you've got your one and a half inch strip. Same principle applies with the point of the triangle towards you for step one. And you can pin these, of course. I never do. I'm I'm not a pinner, but I don't either. I wouldn't I would never advise people not to if no, they're more comfortable do doing it. Yeah. Gosh, I'm hearing a third of the stock of this ruler's gone. You've only been demoing it for about ten minutes. <laughs> 
it really is a lovely little it ruler. Really is. And you know, if you wanted to take it to a class, it's perfect. And then you can produce something like that. It's, no, no, it's People the one beneath are going that. To go, Wow. The one you did beneath that is what blew my mind. Yeah, the, uh, the, the one with the, the little tiny one in the middle. In the that star, is so yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, so with such a, a small ruler, it packs a big punch and you I get... Like um, that. No, I'm just going to, to roll a press that. It's a better effect, obviously, if you... But the roller press is perfect for those smaller pieces, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to square that up. We would, we would trim them all yep. apart, so I'm just going to square that one up. There we go. Trim my little ear off. See, there's me turning it round against the other the mat. Alrighty, so that's your first point. Second step with the triangle, the, the, the drawn triangle facing away from you. We line that up roughly a quarter of an inch from the edge, raw edge there, and stitch that again. Straighten it up a tiny bit. There we go. And trim that little extra bit off. Oh, that Press is so again. sweet. They are lovely, they are lovely. And trim it to two inch square again. That is brilliant. Ta -da. What a lovely, lovely ruler. So yeah, you can make some lovely little things. And I think These that's that's the smallest size. Yes, mm. so it's one up from that. Oh Sally, you're an absolute star. I'm so <laughs> glad you were able to come through today. Gorgeous, right. gorgeous demo. What a lovely set of rulers. They, they are, they are. And they're not too big for storage and everything. They no. take the classes and have loads of fun and really Wonderful. impress people. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much. It's been You're lovely welcome. having you. Are you back in soon? I'm back on the 19th of August, Wonderful. I think. Yes, doing another ruler demo. In fact, I think I'm doing three rulers. Oh, that time. you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And, and another project, which I can't I'm say yet. Very excited. Oh, a little bit of mystery for the 19th of August. Make sure you tune in. It was lovely having you and look after your wrists. Thank you. Look after yourself. You We're just going to remind you how it is that you can buy with us. We'll be right back. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Isn't she brilliant? I love it when Sally comes on and gives us these incredible demos. The ruler she was using today, we've got the fabulous hexagon trim tool ruler. Such a lovely, lovely ruler. Remember, with our Creative Grids rulers, you get this wonderful set of instructions as well. If I can fold this the right way around, apologies for this. So you're getting this wonderful ruler. You're getting the set of instructions. And remember, all of the Creative Grids rulers have got that wonderful non-slip grip technology. You can just see that there. So when you are then pressing down on it, it doesn't move anywhere near as much as if you don't have those. You've got the QR code to get you the demonstration videos on the Creative Grid websites. You've got these wonderful set of instructions available for you. 
and such a lovely, lovely ruler to use. That's available for £24.99 today. The second ruler Sally was doing today was our stripy, strippy stars tool. I'm never going to say the right one there. Stripe, uh, strippy stars, such a lovely, lovely ruler as well. Um, there is the ruler. I'll pop my hand underneath it so you can see it. Again, you've got that wonderful Creative Grids technology with the non-slip grips. More than half the stock of this ruler is gone already. You've still got the instructions available there. Really, really lovely. And you saw going up to 14 inch blocks down to, what did you say, three and a half inches. Amazing, amazing ruler. Next, we've got some fabulous fabric bundles to go with this. We've got our lovely pink star bundle here. Uh, you're getting half a metre of the pink star and half a metre of the, um, do we call this fuchsia? Pomegranate or fuchsia? Pomegranate, I think it's pomegranate as well. Um, so that's six ninety nine. there, you're getting a metre of fabric for that bundle. You've also got the purple bundle, I think, or oh, purple bundle. Getting half a metre of each of those. And you don't have to use these with a strip. These are just samples that we used and we thought they'd work very well together. And you saw in the demonstration, they worked very, very well. Even if you're just looking for something to build your stash up, it's a lovely little combination of colors there. And that's the amethyst and the purple there. We've also then got our orange colorway here. We've got our hot tomato here and our peach there, half a meter of each. And those are available there for six pounds 49. And then we've got our blue stripes, which is, we didn't even get to use these, and these are definitely my favorite of these bundles today. Beautiful, beautiful stripe there. And we've got that lovely sky fabric as well, half a meter of each of them, that's $6.99. But I'd love to see how you all, if you did get the striped combination, you were doing the stripy stars or strippy stars, please make sure you send some pictures in. I'd love to see how you position your fabrics there. Really lovely there. And we've also got those by the half meter, so check out the website. And the last little bundle we've got here is the Creative Grids Moda Bundle Collection. We've got half a meter of two Moda fabrics there, the orange and the white. Those are two Moda fabrics. Then we've got three cotton poplins here by Rose and Hubble. We've got a star, a dot, and then this beautiful large yellow star as well, and a small little purple star there. And then last but not least, we've got half a meter of the line, and that's available for $29.99. Such a lovely combination of colours there. Just look at that whole combination there. I love that. Now, if you haven't been spoiled for choice enough by the fabric that we've got here, we've got another amazing hour coming up with loads of fabric. Lots of these. You can see we've got our wonderful little owls. We've been showing you all the way we go, all along as we go. And this fabulous fleece, anti-pull fleece, feels beautiful loads of other colors so we'll be back in a few minutes we're just going to change the set see you in a moment hi i'm debbie shaw and as a professional sewer i really know how important it is to use a high quality thread well you think about it you spend a lot of money on your sewing machine you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing so why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colors that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, 
invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle Channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're gonna adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio, so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is, in fact, quilting, patchwork and quilting, and I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer, but I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some, something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere and sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah, I should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one. Keep a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush, it's not a race. Have a little practice with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so that you get your techniques just right. But also slow down, take your time, watch what you're doing, think about what you're doing and read the instructions. That's always very useful. So what can I say? I've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be and I would have to say in all honesty, being on Sewing Street. Good morning. Welcome back to Sewing Street for our fabulous fabric hour. Really, really lovely to have you with me today. I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm really, really so excited about our wonderful early bird that we've got today. This is this is launched every day at eight o'clock. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> Um, these are launched every single morning at 8 o'clock for those lovely people who can get up nice and early and they join us nice and early from the beginning of the day and then you're able to see exactly what we've got as a nice little saver for you as a little treat for joining us so nice and early. Today we've got 36 different variegated skeins of embroidery floss. They are eight different um, threads in each of these so you'll see that when you unspool them just going to try and get this open so you can see that there are six different threads in here. <clears throat> so you can see there, hopefully you can, there we go. You can see there are six different individual threads on there. And there's eight meters in each of these skeins. So you've got the six times eight meters. So each individual strand is eight meters long. So you're getting six strands all wound together beautifully in this gorgeous floss. But they've got so many different colors and they variegate from this really beautiful. So the blue one, you can see really well how that variegates in and out. And you can see it goes all the way from this beautiful light sky blue all the way through to this beautiful powder blue and then into this nice rich 
navy going all the way along. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful design on these. You've got all these beautiful reds. Each one of these skeins, if you look at them individually, at that price that we've got it to you for today, $7.99, that's working out at 22 pence per skein. Such a great deal. Now these are the colours you're going to get as well, and you can see just how wonderful all these colourways are. Just for the greens, oh, I'm unwinding one here for some reason. So just with the greens, you're getting loads of different greens, so you can see you've got all these different colourways. I love the fact that you've got all these different colours. It's just jam-packed with different colours, because as I started doing this, I wanted to kind of see what different colours were. sorting these out into the blues and the greens and the individuals then. Now the early birds are only available while stocks last, so if you have got these in your basket, please do check out. We don't want to be missing out on that. And as a little bit of an insider tip, you do not want to miss tomorrow's early bird. That's all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say. And then you can see we've got loads of purples here as well leading into our lovely pinks. Look at these, the colours are so pretty. There we go. Oh, now some of the, th the spools have come off, but you can tell you've got all these wonderful different colourways to create your own little rainbow within this combination here. They're just a gorgeous series of colours, all of them variegated, so you're going from a light to a dark all the way through, and they're just such a beautiful, beautiful set of colours there. Really lovely, you can just see the little rainbow building there. Lovely. 22p a spool, can't go wrong with that. So that's 7.99 for the 36 different embroidery threads there. And uh, you're getting a two pound discount on that today. Love that. Now I have been showing you this fabulous owl fabric all the way through our morning today. Now this is in a bundle, but it is available by the half meter as well. So do have a check. Let me show you what this whole bundle looks like. You've got four fabrics here, half a meter of each one. But the fabrics, let me show you what they look like. So this beautiful little owl, isn't this just adorable? I love these. That is so lovely there. So that's the foot. We've had loads of people checking out on this already. So that's the first color. Then this is the second colorway of this bundle. Isn't that the happiest little snail you've ever seen? So, so sweet. And then we've got our lovely little dragonflies. Are they butterflies, dragonflies? Not quite sure. And then this one, oh my, look how cute this is. Look at these gorgeous little creatures in their wonderful little hot air balloons. You've got your owls, you've got your bunny, you've got your fox. They're all going on a little journey together, aren't they fun? Now you're getting half a meter of each of all four of those fabrics. Let me show you how much half a meter is on each one of these. So that's how much you're getting as a half meter. So you're getting four of those sizes in the different designs that you've already seen. And that is £29.49. Oh my goodness, you know I love a good salvage. Look at that! That is so sweet! Owl's Woodland Adventure. It definitely looks like an adventure, doesn't it? Now the ones that everybody's been waiting for and have been checking out already is our wonderful owls. Aren't these wonderful? Now these are also available by the half meter as well. We've got less than 10 units left now. So that's five meters left outside of the bundle. So if you are interested in getting that and you've got it in your basket, please make sure you check out. We don't want you missing out on them. Aren't they just adorable? So please check out your basket as soon as you can. We don't want you missing out on fabrics that may sell out. That's available not only in the bundle, but by the half meter. What, the owls? Wow, okay. So outside of the bundle, when I said we've only got 10 units left, please check out your baskets. This one, there are only three units left now. There's a meter and a half left of this fabric, so please make sure you check your baskets out if it's in there. 
Now, outside of the bundle, there are only three meters of that one left, so don't lose that. Now, next, we've got the hot air balloons. These are now outside the bundle, not included in the... They're in the bundle, but if you want to buy it outside of the bundle, just look how fun they are. These, there are only six units of this left, so only three meters left at the moment. So do make sure you check out on that as well. So please don't, you can check out as many times as you like throughout the day. You're not gonna pay any more or any less um, and it will all collate over the day. So you're only paying the 3.95 PNP all day. So do check out as you go. We don't want you missing out on any of these. So these are the dragonflies. Gosh, we've only got nine of these left at the moment, nine half meters. Now remember, if you need more than a half meter and you wanted to buy two meters, you would buy four units and that would come to you as a two meter piece. So however many units it is that you cut uh, as you want, you'll be able to do that. That's when you're buying by the half meter. If you're buying this wonderful bundle together, those are already pre-cut by the half meter. So that's the only way. Oh, the owls have now sold out by the half meter. Uh, these ones have sold out by the half meter, so the only way of being able to get the owls now is in our wonderful bundle. Um, so, and it just it happens that way. And then, last but not least, our very very happy snail. Look at our happy little snail. These are available by the half meter as well. That's seven pounds forty nine. Um, that's available by the by the half meter. And then I'll just remind you what the bundle is because we don't want, we, people have gone so crazy about the little owls, we don't want you to be missing out. Oh my goodness, so the bundle is now on single figures. It's the only way of being able to get the owl fabric and we are down to single figures on these now. So you're getting a half meter of the, of the owls, half meter of the hot air balloons, half meter of the dragons, half meter of the snails, and that is available for, was it 29.49? We're just getting the graphic for you now. There we go, 29.49. So that's available all on the website. They were down to single figures, so please check out if you've got it in your basket. We don't want you to miss out. Now, half past 11, I've been doing some teasers for you, and in about half an hour, I'm going to be able to show you these, but just look. You can go ahead and check on the website, but look at these. They're so, but I'm jumping out of order. I'm going to get into trouble. Not going to do that. Now, the first thing we're going to do, are we doing the fleece? Let's do these fleece because we've got so many beautiful, beautiful colors here. And we've had lots of messages in from people telling us of all the things that they make. Teddy bears and bags and cushions and backs of quilts and backs of cushions, play mats on the floor as well. But you're getting a huge amount of fabric here. So that's the width of it. That's my arms, and they can't go any wider. And that's a half meter piece. That's what you're getting as a half meter. These are all completely anti-pull um, fleece. This is the dark blue polka dot uh, fleece. Look at that. The pale blue. I just want to make some dressing gowns out of these. And the other thing is, De one of Debbie's books has got a gorgeous pattern to make slippers. And I look at that and I think, ooh, that would be nice. Making loungy trousers and things, that would be really good as well. We can call it your Sunday outfit, where you just sit in front of the telly and watch us. Your snuggle cushion. Also for fiddle quilts and things like that. At $2.99 for a half meter, it's just such a great price. Really love this. And also if you're making bottle bags and things as well, maybe you wanted to make something to keep your drink warm, but you didn't want something there, that could work really well as a little mini insulation thing. But then if you didn't want the blue spots, don't worry, we've got your pink spots as well. Just look at that. Oh, I'll put that there. <clears throat> Or even if you wanted a little quilt for in the car, this would be quite nice. Especially with kids traveling on long journeys, that could be quite nice. So I'll show you just what you're getting by the half meter because the value is so incredible there. $2.99, that's how much you're getting. A huge, huge width there. What is this, 150? 
So they're 150 wide by half a meter. But you can imagine for a back of a cushion, but even if you're making a quilt, 150 wide, that's a really wide quilt. So if you've got two meters of this or one, one meter 50, three units, you'd be able to put a really nice backing on a quilt there and it just makes your quilt that extra bit snugly. You could do it as a, a quilt for the floor that you just put down in the living room and you could have kids play on that as well. It's a lovely versatile fabric. You can do loads with it. Because what would be really good as well, if you just wanted to get something to, because these are, all, they're not completely double-sided, you can see the back there, it, you can't tell too much of the difference, it's not, you, these are effectively double-sided. But if you wanted to just make a little picnic rug out of it, or if you're going to the beach and you just want to dry your feet off afterwards, just get a metre of this and hem it. It's, a, it's such a great price, two ninety nine for the half metre there. There's so much fabric and it's so lovely to feel as well. So that's the pink polka dot going to do the grey polka dot now because everybody's always ad the advice is you've always got a blanket of some kind in your car to make sure if you ever break down that you can stay warm isn't this a lovely way of being able to do that such a great price there and it's just such a lovely feel to it I won't deny I'm stroking it and thinking oh a little nap under that would be quite nice so that's what the grey dots looks grey dot is there but this is what the half meter looks like it's huge, one and a half meters by half a meter there, two ninety nine. I must say, of the three, I'm I'm a huge grey fan. I love that. So that's um, I don't know if that's the front or the back, but you can see you've got two. You've got a double sided. It could be double sided there. I'm not sure which one I prefer. I think they're both lovely. Love that. So that's your half meter there. Even for dog beds, that would be good. One of my friends, she passed away and we made quilts for her whole family. And I even made her little dog a quilt out of that using the backing of that with the little doggy paws on it, which was really good. Now we've got our yellow, because um, we always make quilts for family, but we forget our puppies and our animals are our family too. So this is the yellow there, half a meter. It's very bright against my skin. I definitely need a tan there. $2.99 for the half meter of that. That's the yellow. I'm going to get that as far away from my face because that isn't quite the right yellow for my skin tone. It's a beautiful fabric though and it feels so lovely. And there's so many uses for this on their own. If you're thinking of making sort of any toys for kids, you know, like um, Debbie had those skittles in her book yesterday, we were looking at yesterday. Being able to do the skittles out of something so bright like that would be lovely. <gasps> and then we've got the navy. Oh, look at this. So that's a half meter there. And just look how luxurious that looks. It's feel Oh, it's beautiful. And it's such a good fabric to work with if you're, if you're not very good, uh, new to, if you're very new to sewing and you've not been experienced with too much, this one doesn't fray so much. It's very easy to work with. It's a lovely, lovely design and colorway and it feels so lovely. You just want to snuggle up in it. And then we've got our cream. Is this cream or ivory or white? Cream. So this is our cream. Oh, we're thinking oh, Christmas for costumes. Oh, sorry, Hannah's just telling me, what about Christmas for costumes and nativity? Isn't that a good idea? I was looking at that because she started off by saying this is costumes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> thinking she was meaning swimming costumes. <laughs> for cushions as well, for detailing as well. But just look at that. It's so lovely for snow as well. Really lovely there. Polar bears. You could make a little polar bear out of that for two ninety nine. And you can see there's so much there, and it's very anti pill as well, so you can not have to worry about the pilling on it. It just feels so lovely. I do love that. Oh, 
that's a very good idea. Sorry, I've got Hannah telling me an idea. What about embroidering at the same time? It's terrible. I will get better at talk back one day. It hasn't happened yet. Because she's talking and I'm thinking, yes, yes, yes. And forgetting, I'm on telly. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. So imagine being able to take something like this, the cream, or even the navy, and being able to embroider onto it as well. Some beautiful designs. That would be gorgeous. I think that would work very, very well. Good plan. I'm going to get my embroidery machine out and give that a go. Might want to just check if you are going to use your embroidery, what stabilizer you need for that, because I'm not sure what stabilizer you do need, but just check that out. Your embroidery machine manual will tell you that. But it's a really good idea. I love that idea. So nearly time at half past for these. I'm loving these. The little bees. Love those. Those are coming up at 11.30. But the first thing we have to look at is our Grand Prix bundle. Sorry, I thought it was very warm on the, on the um, counter over there and I thought, oh, the iron's on, but it's not. We turned it off. So this is the most fabulous bundle. I'm going to start off by showing you all three together. You're getting half a metre of the black, um, half a metre of the check, and then a 90 centimetre panel for 18.99. But I'm going to show you first of all the check. I'm going to show you the check. I'm going to just make you wait a little bit for that panel because the panel is lovely. So that is um, the, how much you're getting for the half meter there of the check. That's for your lovely flag that you're going to have and your border. And you've got that half meter of black as well. And then you've got your half meter of black. Let me just show you how much you're getting with your half meter of black. And then we get the star of this bundle, this wonderful fabric panel here. But the good thing is with this, when you're looking at this, and I'm sorry, I know I'm procrastinating, imagine doing your backing of a quilt with this. Really good idea, I love those. And then, let me get this the right way around. There we go. We've got this fabulous panel. Just look, and it's huge. Look at the amount of fabric you're getting there. So it's 90 centimeters from this side to this side, just to give you an idea of size and how big this is. But then look at the detailing on it. It is so sweet. Let me just try and just realized I've put these on top of fabrics. There we go. But it's such a great price point and it's such a nice way to be able to start doing a quilt because you can just add some borders on with this black uh, fabric, the black and um, the check fabric, and you can just see how fun this is. And that beautiful crosshatch detail that you've got in that green looks very similar to the ba extra wide backing fabrics we've had in the past. And just look at that. Such a fun, fun panel and some beautiful borders here to be able to do it. Perhaps you just want to put a black border and then have this as your binding and save that for another day because that would make the most beautiful binding as well. You could do matching cushions. There's loads that you can do with this, but just such a fun panel. Really, really good that one. But if you wanted to get some of these fabrics on their own, let me remind you what you can get on your own. That's the panel. Does the panel come on its own? So the panel only comes together in this kit. So for the kit, you're going to get the panel. You're getting half a meter of your check and you're getting half a meter of the black and that's coming in at $18.99. But then on top of that, we also can offer you this check fabric by the half meter. And that is £5.99 by the half metre for that. Such a lovely fabric that. But we've also got the black available by the half metre. This is for £3.49 for the half metre of this black. But the good thing with this is it's a staple. Having black and grey and white and cream in your colour coordination, in your uh, fabric stash, it just works so, so well being able to have something so good like that because it's a staple. And it's always, you just need that little bit of black and you haven't got it. And then you get it at such a great price as well. We've got loads more to go. Should we do the ginghams? Gonna look at the gingham's. ginghams. I love gingham. Look at these. So we've got four ginghams here. 
brand brand new to us today. We've got the yellow, the green, the um, navy and the blue. Now I'm not, I'm showing you there just how beautifully they look together. They're not a bundle. I just wanted to show them all together. So we've got, this one is called the pale blue. This is the pale blue gingham. This is a, it's what? Oh, so it's a true gingham because I'm hearing it's actually yarn dyed and woven rather than printed. Oh, right. Oh, I'm looking now, yes. So this is completely reversible because if you look there, because that's how ging I did not know that. So with gingham, if it's meant to be, um, if it's done traditionally, you can see it's exactly the same on the front and back because the thread itself is actually dyed and then woven together, uh, whereas um, other ginghams would be um, printed on. But this is this is traditional gingham. Oh, it's just the traditional way of doing. Not that it's right or wrong. Sorry, I misspoke then. But this is just such a lovely, lovely colorway. And thank you for telling me that, Hannah. I didn't know that. It's going to be a quiz question now, I think. So that is our gingham, uh, gingham pale blue. Then we've got, is it gingham navy? Is this? That's the navy. The navy is really good as well. So it's such a beautiful, beautiful colorway there and such a lovely amount of fabric there too. You see gingham's quite in at the moment, lots of dresses and tops and things out of it. Love that. But I'm looking at these and thinking I don't make a lot of bags, but I think whenever I do, having a nice gingham lining could be quite fun. A little bit of a pop of colour on the outside, that could be quite good. So that's our navy gingham yarn dyed cotton there, half metre for $3.99. We've also got our lovely olive green, which is, what is this one we call green? Just called green. But it does, when you, when you see it open like that, you can see it does look a bit like an olive green. But as kitchen accessories as well, can you imagine that? It would be so lovely. That is really pretty. $3.99 for the half meter. This is the yarn dyed gingham in green. Half meter of that, $3.99. Loads of uses around the home for gingham. It's such a lovely different way of being able to bring your kitchen to life doing different things there. So that's the green and then last but not least we've got our very cheery yellow. Look at that. So this is half a meter so this is 150 centimeters wide by 50 centimeters long and that's going to be 3.99 you can see it's a lot of fabric there if you are going to be buying more than one unit that'll come to you cut as one piece so if you ordered four units that'll be two meters um, and that would come to you as a two meter piece there all in one go And that's our yellow gingham we've got there. Aren't they just all so beautiful together though? I love those together. Oh, I'm hearing Hannah's gonna be buying some of the olive one, the green one, because she's got a Tilly in the Buttons pattern and making something out of that. That'll be good. You're gonna have to bring that in so we can photograph you for social for that. Well, it's half past, it's time. Look at these. Oh, I just want to zoom and live in all this wonder here. Look how cute these are. Look at the bumblebee. Where did the little bumblebee go? There. So this is called Whimsy Garden and you can see why. Brand new today. And you can see all the beautiful little snails. The detailing on here is so pretty. You've got this wonderful little snail and then you've got that wonderful little bee and the ladybird and then you've just got these berries. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful fabric this. This is available for £7.49 today. This is by Michael Miller. Did you say we we're about to sell out? 
gosh, we're about to sell out on this, but you can see why it's such a beautiful fabric. Just a reminder, if you have got this in your basket, please make sure you check out. Don't want you to be losing out and there isn't very much left of this one. So do check out your basket. You've got the one day PNP 395, so you won't lose any money by checking out multiple times during the day. You won't uh, gain anything by not. So do check out as you go. Now, if you are having any problems with checking out on the website and you want to give our UK-based call centre a call, easiest way of doing that is 0800 001 4433. They're just down the road. They'll easily be able to complete your order for you and add things to your basket and make sure that your order goes through safely and very, very easily. So give them a shout if you've got any questions. Now, this bee fabric is just so sweet. Look at these little... They're so lovely. Fat, happy little bees. They look so good. Really love that little plump bee there. This is proving to be very, very popular as well this morning. It's called Be My Baby Fabric, half meter there for £7.49. That's by the half meter. If you're wanting to buy multiple units of this, this will come to you cut as one piece. So if you ordered three meters, that would come to you, at, sorry, three units, that would come to you as one and a half meter piece. It won't be cut up into half meter pieces there. Lovely, lovely fabric that. Oh, we've had a request in to repeat the navy anti-pull. Somebody didn't get to see that earlier. Look at this. Look how beautiful that rich blue is there, that navy. Love that. So this is $2.99 by the half meter. Let me just remind you how much you're getting when you get it. This is one and a half meters wide by half a meter. It's a lot of fabric. Love that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, as a bit of a stock, stock warning, we only have 20 meters of this gray fleece left. Um, I know that to you sounds like a lot, but we buy hundreds of meters of, of product to be able to sell. We only have 40 units of this one left now. This is the gray anti-pill fleece, meter and a half wide by half a meter for $2.99 by the half meter. And this is, I'm hearing it's so the way it's selling, this is going to sell out by the end of the hour. So please do check out your baskets. And if you haven't yet popped in your basket and you want it, please make sure you do. Don't want you missing out. So now we're going to do the white on whites. These prove to be a little bit difficult because our lovely cameras do struggle sometimes to do the white on whites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and hopefully that will show through. There we go. So this is, I can't remember what this one's called. Beautiful, beautiful swirls here of the leaves and the tw and just these are called oak leaves. And they're getting a half meter of this. Is it 140 wide, Haley? Back to Hannah. No problem. So these are 699 by the half meter. I think this is 140 wide. Now this one we aren't, we haven't got a huge amount of this one left because you've all been on the website before we've got here to be able to see what we've got. Um, so we haven't got a huge amount of this one's left. So do check out your basket on this one. Don't want you missing out. So that was the, um, the oak leaves. Now this one is so lovely, but we did struggle the last time to be able to get the fabric, to the, um, the swirls to you to be able to see. Cool, I'll do that then. Sorry. That. Now, when you look at this on the website, you'll see over here when you look at the pattern, it's completely white. You see there? 
that's all completely white. Now on the website, it, because we've got a white background on our website, we didn't want you not to be able to see the design. So where we've got our, these are completely white. You can see there's no black lines or anything in here. But when you see the picture on the website, you may see a black line in the background. The reason is we wanted to be able to make sure that you could see what it is the design was and what it looked like. And you can see these gorgeous little intertwined threads here. It just works so beautifully. It's a lovely, lovely fabric, this. This is called Rambling in Swirls fabric, half a meter for $6.99. As far as I know, this is 140 centimeters wide by 50 centimeters. Isn't it just fabulous? I do think for binding, this would be really good and accent um, uh, touches to a bag as well would be really fun for that. Love that. And that's how wide it is if you're wanting to look. That's how wide it is. But when you do check the website, don't worry about the little black lines in it. There aren't black lines when you get it. That's what it looks like when you get it, the white on white. It's just that it was the only way to be able to show you the design on the website. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't know what the swirls look like. So those are our two white on white fabrics today. How are our bees doing? Very, very low on stock as well today. Oh, we've got less than five meters left of this one. So make sure you check that out. I'm just gonna remind you about all of our wonderful fleeces here. This, there are so many of them and they're going really, really fast. This is the cream um, fleece that we've got available. It's 150, inch, 150 centimeters wide by half a meter. It's anti-pill, it feels lovely. Really good for loads of different projects. I think this is gonna be a really great, I think it's a, because Hannah mentioned doing it for Christmas projects. I think it's a clever idea. I love that. It's a really good way of doing that. Um, we've got the gray dot. Hmm? All oh, the tops of Christmas stockings. That's a really good idea. We've also got the gray polka dot. Also the anti pearl, $2.99 for a half meter. Loving these. And remember, if you've got these in your baskets, they are checking out really, really quickly. So please don't lose out. Make sure you check out as you go along. Which one? We're going to do the pink spot next. Isn't this lovely? Oh, I just realized I've got the gray in the way there. Look at that. It's just so fun. And the feel of it, I just wish people could feel these because it just feels so lovely. And then we've got the blue spot as well. Look at that. Love that. $2.99 for the half meter for that. And it just feels so lovely. Then we've got some really interesting swirls. I think these are so fun. Now these are completely and utterly unique. Um, this is by a company called Tuku Tuku. And just look at that. Isn't that amazing? So this is available by the half meter. That's what you're gonna get as a half meter. That's gonna be $5.99 today. And just look at the design on there. It's just incredible. It looks like one of those agate stones that you get out of the ground and you're just in a really fluorescent-y background colorway. I love these. Or the inside of an oyster shell. Beautiful, beautiful colorway. They're so unique, very, very interesting. And a really good accent color for any project as well. Loving that. And then we've got our wonderful metallic dragonflies here. Again, a half meter of this. Look at that. And that's available for $5.99. You can see that beautiful metallic in the background there. Love that, that's $5.99. And the detailing on this metallic is so beautiful.
Now you remember um, Sally had that gorgeous hexagon quilt uh, quilt ruler on today. This would be absolutely perfect for doing that because you could then have this accent hexagon in the, that colorway and then you could do the colors around it in the white and then into the steel. You could try and match those up. I think that's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. And a fabric that you can do loads with as well. You can see these beautiful metallics in there. Really, really lovely for a project there. So it's half a meter of that is five ninety nine. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to give you a bit of a st uh, stock warning on this one. Um, there are three left. There are three half meters. There is a meter and a half of this left. If you've got it in your basket, please, please, please check out. Or if you want it, please hurry. There are only three units left. Um, this was such a popular colorway uh, for a, uh, was this on a week ago? I think it was on a week ago and it sold so incredibly well. There are only three units left of this one. Look how pretty that is. So this is called the Wildflower Floral in Navy. $5.99 by the half meter there. Absolutely gorgeous. Such a beautiful range this. And we've got one more of this one in this range. Have we got a little bit more stock of that one? Oh goodness, no, not really. Um, so that one, we had a meter and a half left of that one, three units. This one we've got, how many did you say? Four and a half? Four and a half meters, we've got nine units left of this one. So please, if you are after this or you've got it in your basket, make sure you check out because unfortunately until it's paid for, somebody can come and pay for it ahead of you and then the one who pays for it first gets it first. And just look how pretty that is. Lovely, lovely fabric there. And the detailing on these fabrics is so good as well. Just look at the leaves, the detailing on the leaves. It's so clever. So that's a half meter of that. It's called a wild floral, bleh, wild floral white fabric. Half a meter of that is for $5.99. Don't forget, we've got our wonderful navy anti-pill fleece. This is how much you're getting when you get that. That's a meter and a half by half a meter. $2.99 for that today. And isn't it just the most beautiful colorway there? It just feels like the midnight sky there. Now all of the anti-pill um, fleeces, I'm hearing you're gonna need to be quite quick on. These have been selling incredibly well this morning. How many? There are only 20 meters of this one left now. So please, if you are after any of it, make sure you check out. We don't want you losing out. And it's one of those terrible things. We don't know when we can get it back in again. So make sure you check out as you go. So next we've got this, um, I don't know what we're calling this. It's so pretty. Let me give you the code on this one. NTLJ60. Look at that. This is brand new into us today. And just look at the detailing on these flowers. It's just so, so fun. That is such a lovely color. And what I love about these new designs coming in, they just pop with such incredible detail. And the detailing there, you can see on the top, there's actually a heart on the top of that little sprig. And you can see that lovely little fuchsia flower there and this beautiful flower there. They are just so realistic and so pretty. And the detailing on these flowers there as well, it's so cleverly designed. This is the pink and purple, bleh, pink and purple flowers on white cotton, half a meter for $2.99, $2.99. That can't be right. Wow. $2.99. Now imagine using this for dressmaking because this is good cotton cotton. This is a very good cotton poplin. It's beautiful. That as a top would be gorgeous. Oh, I might need to get a shirt out of that one. I have to say that is beautiful. Love that. So that by the half meter, $2.99. Brand new into us today. 
Let me just remind you how wide this is. I just realized I hadn't done that on this fabric there. That's how big the fabric is. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh, I'm loving that. Look at that detailing there. Brand new today and such a great price. Maybe you got one of our pink and purple bundles in the previous hour. This would be perfect as your accent in the middle for your hexagons. I like that. We've only got one more to go. So our last little fabric from this hour, I think. Yes. Um, this one is P for Papa, NLJ35. And just look at these beautiful tulips. Also brand new today. Look at those. The detailing on these tulips is just incredible. I love these. I think they're very, very pretty. Let me show you the detail of these a bit close up. So that's how much you're getting with the fabric when you get them. That's by the half meter. And you can see there, nice, nice colorway there. I'm just going to double check. So that is a six inch repeat. So anybody wanting to do stack and wax and things like that, it's a six inch repeat. So you'd need 48 inches at least, which would be a meter and a half if you were wanting to try a stack and whack. That is a tulips on pink cotton poplin um, and that's 4.99 for a half meter. You'll always tell when I do the measurements for a stack and whack, it's because I'm working out in my head how much fabric I need to buy so that I can then place my order the moment I come off air to be able to get that in because the fabrics are so lovely. Now, one of my favorite things to do on uh, Sewing Street every week is not only my block of the week, but make of the week. Every single week, what make of the week is, every single week, myself, Vicky, and the lovely Debbie get to go through and look at all of your amazing pictures that you post onto the Sewing Street fans page, and we get to pick our favorite of the week. And I have to say, you girls and boys are making it very hard for us. It is so jam-packed with talent. There are so many amazing pictures. So each week, Debbie, myself, and Vicky pick the, 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 our favorite of the week, and then that person, if you get chosen, we end up sending you a little voucher code. When you send a message in saying, hello, it's me, um, you get a voucher code for free postage and packaging on your next order. So the winners of this week, I am very proud to announce, are Maria Hartley, Christine Be uh, Beard, and Deborah Hallam. If I pronounced any of those incorrectly, I apologize. Uh, so Maria's make of the week this week was, oh, we're gonna do Deborah's first, sorry. That's Deborah's. I adored that. Isn't it beautiful? Really well done, Deborah. And then the next make is Maria. Maria Hartley with my starry, starry night quilt there. That is beautiful. Well done, Maria. And then last but certainly not least, is Christine uh, Beard, Baird, forgive me, I got that wrong. Uh, that's one of the Delphine inspired uh, pieces there. It might be Delphine's as well. It's so pretty, well done. You see the talent that's in there, it's incredible. Do keep posting onto our Sewing Street fans page. We do go through them every week. Um, the clock is now reset, so it starts from today. So go through and keep posting all your different makes but please remember there are so many wonderful projects on there unfortunately we can't pick everybody to win it's very very hard it's a really great amount of talent out there thank you for sharing all of your makes so what have we got next so now we've got our moda mega bundle that we had in our first hour so we had gotten so low on our stock on this earlier in during the eight o'clock. We've managed to get another two of them into stock. It's really hard to be able to kit these together. So we've managed to get another two of these into stock. So it's £97.37. You're getting 14 half meters of fabric. And let me remind you what each one looks like. They are just adorable. First of all, let me show you the size of each one. So each one of these is going to be, that's the size you get for each one of them, just to remind you of the size. And then what I'll do is I'll show you each and every fabric here. Um, but we do have some of these by the half meter, not all, um, because we are just, they've been so, so popular. So there we go. That is our first fabric in the bundle. Do you want the code as we go? 
7, 8. So all of these 14 fabrics are in the mega bundle, but we'll also be showing you as you go through the um, half meter bundle as well. So that is the fabric there. So that is available by the half meter and it is the first in our bundle. And then the next one is ending 39. So this one, we've only got about 10 units left of that one, five meters left. So if you are after that one, please make sure you check out quite quickly. The next one is ending 189. Now you see what I love about the mode of designs here, these are all designed by a lady called Jo Morton and Jo goes and finds quilts from the 19th century and then will get the inspiration from one quilt and create her entire collection based on that quilt and then tying in much more contemporary uh, design elements into the traditional colours and designs. So she then does that and Moda's got that wonderful consistency of colourways um, and design ethos that the products are always absolutely amazing. 94. And the good thing is as well, you'll be able to get brand new fabrics here that are quite um, traditional in their colorways, uh, but they're all completely brand new. So that's the one there that we've got there, the off red floral dot. The next one ends in 107. Now remember, every one of these fabrics I'm showing you is all in our mega bundle. This one I'm still convinced looks like a little giraffe, but it's probably just a flower. Gosh, we've only got 18 units of this one left, nine meters of that left. Now remember, if you do want to get a two meter piece, you order four units, and that will come to you cut as a, as a two meter piece. It won't come to you as four half meters. The next one we've got is number 107. And this is one of our fabrics in our mega bundle there. We've got 14 fabrics in our mega bundle, but this is also available by the half meter, the Moda Lancaster in Blackberry fabric. Half meter of that is seven pounds 49. The next one we've got is number 167. This is so, so lovely. Doesn't that look like someone's face? nose and a, eyes and nose and a little moustache or the next one we've got is number 184 I'm so pleased we've been able to get a couple more of these now the mega bundle we only had two left oh this one is about to sell out we've got a handful of units on this one so if you Oh, there's one unit left of this now, and it is in someone's basket. Make sure you're checking out as you go. We don't want you to be losing out. There is only one unit of that one available left. Next one we've got is ending in 194. The next one is 143. Now these are all available by the half meter, but all of these 14 fabrics are in our mega bundle. We had two extra added in. This one is ending 191, but some of these fabrics are still available by the half meter. Um, some of them may be about to sell out as well. So please, if you are after these, check out as you go. We don't want you to lose out. So this one, we've only got 22 units of this one left. So do check out as you go. That's number 116 next.
So this one here, we only have four units of this one left. That's two meters left of that one. That's seven pounds 49, the Lancaster soft gold cross hatch fabric there. Only got, did you say two meters? Two meters, yes. Um, this one is ending 198. Now, unfortunately, this last one that I'm about to show you by the meter, by the half meter, has completely sold out. We only have this available in our wonderful mega bundle. So the mega bundle there, you can see these 14 beautiful colors there. Absolutely incredible colorway there. £97.37 there. Seven meters. You're effectively getting a half meter for free with that price point. There are only two of these left at the moment, so please make sure you check out. If this goes to repeat, we might not have that available when you've got that there. So now it's coming to the end of the day. We're going to remind you what it is that we've got on the show tomorrow. That'll be with me. And we've got Chair Pockets with Delphine Brooks. And then Sewing Room Tools and Gadgets. Then we've got Eat Your Yard Garden Set with Delphine. Oh, I'm excited about that. But I have to say the hour I'm most excited about is our Quilt Kits Revisited. Roundup of all the kits we've had loads of. And really looking forward to that hour. And then, and of course, the Two Hours with Delphine. Who wouldn't love those? Absolutely adore Delphine. She's fabulous. Then we've got the repeat of today's Kyoto Kimonos quilt with Sally Stevens. So that'll be our 12 p.m. show tomorrow. Now, immediately after you finish dealing with, dealing with me, well, after this show, oh my goodness, it's the end of the day, forgive me. And it's Friday. Uh, you're going to have our eight o'clock show from yesterday morning. Um, what was that? It was so long ago. Can't remember what it was, I'm so sorry. The Geo Dress, oh my goodness, those fabrics are incredible. You must go and see that, that King of Sweden fabric, oh, incredible, make sure you check those out. Um, and that dress, so, so brilliant. Faye was an absolute superstar with that. It's just been a very long day. Sorry, I forgot about that. So we've now got, I'm just gonna remind you about our wonderful fleeces before we head off today. We've got this gorgeous fleece in, sorry? Oh, okay. Got our wonderful navy, blue dot, pink dot, and grey dot, and cream. Make sure you check out of those. Two ninety nine by the half meter. I can't thank you all enough for your time today. You have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.